right. Let's see what we got here. All right. I better not stand here too long. Much that I come down, put down a little. Just feel like there's some time here left before get in that that pinch that celestial alignment so that's the uh, be the word theolobos to be pinched down or theolobo would be pushed push down on so mm, is it that instrument the narrowing of self and this narrowing of this magnetics. So, wonder if it has anything to do with these millimeter waves. Like somebody's trying to protect this earth from something or, or something like that maybe. Like try to become a hero or something. What do you think? Walls that the eye can't see. Hmm. About being a debt and debt. <laughs> about debt. People talk about being imprisoned by debt. Uh, see, there you go. There's some walls that you can't see. Just keep having this. We're here. We made it. We're three plus years into this extinction event. And you already made it this far. See, you think extinction. Everybody hears that. They think we're all going to die. <laughs> That's not how extinctions work. We're in the sixth extinction event. So, the heavens declared so. Half cycle was 6,000 years ago. That was the Noah event. The whole earth was flooded. So, this earth is filled with, with wickedness. And, uh, that's okay because everything always writes itself. It's algebraic, right? That's how they do their sacrifices. They believe in all that, but they just try to mirror. They're going to make all those jots and tittles come to pass. So, or Shiloh, he won't come back with the key. Yep, he's got the key. The key to the pit, so they're gonna make it happen like it says in that word. Can't get away from it, can't change even a jot or a tittle. They know that. But you gotta remember the devil, he knows the word better than most 99.9% .9 of Christians or Baptists or Catholics or Protestants or Presbyterians or Mormons. Yes, oh, he's wise. He said you must be wise as a serpent and gentle as a dove. That's right. Meek, not weak. So, people show their face. It's pretty easy to see. Janice, the two face, two face joker, right? So, there we go. Millimeter, millimeter waves. That's what I see. Waves. A magnetic pinch All right here we go again like a cycle it's coming back in enormous I'm not gonna stay on too long I'm gonna I want to get up at a decent hour I gotta get finished working on some of these things here on the world these stuff that I don't too much like to participate but that's all right still got to take care of the temple still got to Still got to prepare the ark. Got to prepare that ark, prepare that vessel. So, 
yeah, we had some pretty good weather here today. So definitely been seeing that you'll reap what you sow. You'll reap, you'll reap what you sow. So again, remember algebraic as is above, so is below. On earth as it is in heaven. <laughs> um just a mirror, remember a, a Janus, Two Faced, Joker, Jackal, the one with the cock, the rooster, remember? The wolf, in this case, Apollyon, you know, but it's all just a joke to most people and they're being played. Remember, it's an act. They're actors and they play their part, been programmed. Too much to tell live vision. Yeah, been here before. These these stars have been uh, in this alignment 2,600 years ago. Here we go again. Here we go around in circles. You can't corkscrew and spin me. I'm not going in circles, but you can believe whatever you believe in. But uh, the heaven and the earth will be shaken. And yes, waves, millimeter waves is what I see. Invisible, invisible, invisible waves. Debt prison is a is walls, right? That's what invisible walls. They have you indebted, imprisoned in debt. Debt slaves. <clears throat> so. Yep, that's what I see. You see Mr. 47 coming back and building those greatest millimeter walls ever around whoever he chooses. And Mr. As is above, so is below. As is above, so is below. Millimeter waves and millimeter bowls. The bowls will be poured out. Remember what that word says. We're already in Revelation. There ain't no more playing around with the unclean aletheia those unclean truths people god didn't give everybody an eye to see and an ear to hear so he only chose his oligas those that he chose to have that scales removed for their eyes and they would have eyes to see and you could speak until you're blue in the face blue blue in the face a lot of blue talk, isn't there? Like blue helmets and Project Blue Book and Drink the Maui uh, Mountain Dew Blast and all that. Yeah, never mind. Do me, baby. Um, but yeah, blue. Are you feeling blue? <laughs> yeah. Remember what, Mister? If you have the right, if you had the right roof, they're throwing it in your face. They know you know. Never forget, millimeter waves and millimeter bowls. How about, as is above, so is below. How about star shield? <laughs> star shield. Are you falling for that? They call that star. Oh, boy. They've been working on this forever. <laughs> yeah, till there's, it's either blue helmets or DARPA dogs kicking down your door. Oh, did he just say that? DARPA dogs. Yep, I did. DARPA dogs, silver. Better get that silver before those DARPA dogs come kicking down your door. This takes silver to kick down your... Oh, maybe it's Mr. Musk's little robots that he's got too, huh? Star shield. Boring. 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 You could only go 500 miles. They could go 1,000 miles on a single charge in the 1800s. You're boring, Mr. Musk. You stink. We know you're in with Mr. Warp Speed with your star shield. Going to play tricks on your tricks on your nerves and uh, play visual voodoo and and visual lies to the eye, with your in the skies to your eyes. <laughs> And millimeter waves and millimeter bowls. So that's what I see. Don't you worry. 47, he'll be back, right? All those all those thumpsters will be all happy again, right? They got lulled to Sleepy Joe. No, he's Creepy Joe, you creepy Trump supporters. 
That's disgustingly sick man that decorates his house with a warp speed, the bringer of the disease, the cure of the disease of Polly on the sun god, and then calls him. Never mind. Let's not go. Ignorance is bliss. So back to millimeter bowls. They'll, everybody will be put in their place. Right? Hotel California can check in, which can never leave. No, just kidding. Yeah, I'm not falling for Mr. Starshield, Mr. X, Mr. Twitter, Mr. He knows. He's in on it. He's got a he's got a, a ticket on Air Force One. So <laughs> yep. They're all in on it. They're all they're all playing the game. And you're playing batter up. You're taking the taking the pitch. And you've been just woof. <laughs> or maybe it's over your head. But Never remember Mr. Uncle Operation Warp Speed. He knows about millimeter bowls and millimeter waves. <laughs> millimeter bowls. What is this? Yep, people are, yep, yep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Old Wolf the Flight. Yep. I remember it from, I know I had family that worked for that company. So Lockheed Martin, Boeing, all that. Never mind. I need to shut up. All right. Anyways, millimeter waves, millimeter bowls. That's what he has on my heart. It's coming. But I also know waves. So maybe we'll make it. Maybe it's the pinch. Maybe it's that pinch that I've been talking about, that magnetic pinch that's coming that will, well, that's real. All this just came points to this time, doesn't it? Boy, exciting times. Then the then the most high, he saves the best for last, doesn't he? <laughs> he saves the best for last. He always does, right? So this is it. The apocalypse. Yep. There'll be a final Trump. Don't you worry. Whoa. <laughs> so I hope you're uh using your time wisely before the uh the calm before the storm or the tide the shift in the tide breathe yeah checking out on the prison bus so here we go welcome to the new age the age of revelation, we're already here. We've already seen the writer in the White House that brought us the crown, the coronavirus and warp speed and the toxin, the tip of the spear, the jab of I mean, the writer on the white horse with the crown and the bow, my bad. Um, so <clears throat> anyways, the red horse is when, does anybody put, can anybody put what the red horse is for me, please? Because if you know that we're in the apocalypse and you know that's not Armageddon, then you're probably one up on 99% of the world. Not better than, not above, like pride shining above, but just have a little bit of a leg up. So, well, well. <clears throat> That's already here. There's wars and rumors of wars is a, uh, but there's a certain thing that's pretty predominant about what the, that's obvious what war brings. Man will kill man. Man will kill man. Man will kill man where the death is. The black horse's judgments, the pale green horse. Well, let's just stick to where we're at right now. I don't want to get ahead of this. You know, a lot of people don't even understand where we're at in the age. They don't understand we're in Aquarius. The heavens have declared it. I didn't declare it. He declares it. He spins the stars. He's the one who controls these heavens. He's the one who had on 12, 21 to 2020 had Jupiter conjunct Saturn, the time marker with the king marking the new age and bringing us into the 12,000 year extinction and sixth on this planet this can't corkscrew and spin me but yeah the sixth extinction event we're in it we've been in it since 2020 welcome to the new age all this alliance this is a very special time i just told you the father saves the best for last the unveiling of the lies over the deception over by the church for over 2000 years 
over this whole earth that was cast and people are understanding this lies of, of religion and and they're seeking that seeking he shall find the truth that's in that book the word not religion he said i don't dwell in temples or houses made by hands he said i dwell where there are two or three gathered in my name there i will be in their midst that's what he says but man will kill men and i'm not trying to over sensationalize anything people want to believe it that's their own fault but they'll see doesn't matter you can't stop every jot and every tittle will come to pass for that seventh seal you know the sky rolls back like a scroll that seventh trumpet and the, the, the final trump and a series of trump sounds and judgment will be passed yes that's right <laughs> not till then all the jots and all the tittles have to come to pass so but uh, they know that, again, the devil's wise. He didn't get his name as Nakash, the serpent, and wise, you know, because he was stupid and not, no. He's uh, cunning, remember? <laughs> and uh, knows, he used to hang out with the Most High. Don't you remember? He used to be, there were like two peas in a pod. He couldn't separate the two. But then he tried to rise above pride, remember? The sin, one sin, got him cast out of the heavens, trying to rise above the Most High, so... God hates pride. God hates, uh, God hates houses made by hands. He called them out as the synagogues of Satan. He said, you do the works of your father, the devil, right? The daemonion, the distributor's fortunes, the distributor of lies. He cast out unclean truths out of the church. Daemonions, lies. <laughs> this world is twisted. He said, forward, the Hebrew word, you're forwarding my word, but nobody knows what he said. Everybody just believes in that other cotton candy, lollipop, Nimrod, orgy sex Jesus. How many angels? A third, one third of the angels were cast from the heavens. Not just Satan, not Lucifer. Remember, that's not Lucifer, it's not Satan. That's nonsense. That's modern day nonsense. <laughs> Nobody will trans literate and define in the original text anything or define anything more they all speak in translations you know thousands of years since these original texts were written hallelujah he did he whipped them with the he whipped the doves those people selling the doves hallelujah thank you lw he everybody forgets that other jesus the one that you know, they believe in that <laughs> that cotton candy. The Apostle Paul warned us they will come preaching another gospel and and another Jesus. And he himself warned us, you know, Christ, he's, you know, Christ Jesus. He said, many will come in my name, right? I am, many will come in my name. He was Shiloh, he returned, but many will come in my name and say they are Christ and they will be deceived. So another gospel, another Jesus, it's the same thing same thing today rampant but ignorance abyss place of no knowledge that's where they get thrown my people will perish for lack of knowledge hell so remember that's why most people god sends to hell not heaven his flock is teeny tiny oligas but most people think because they believe and they think that's a thought in their head when believe is a verb <laughs> oh man society is a whoa to those in the days that call good evil and evil good. Here we are, brothers and sisters. <laughs> uh, yeah, through through idolatry, self, self. That's called self, latrio, to serve. Idolatry, pornea in the Greek, to serve. Define it in the word, speak the word, speak the Greek, speak the words he speak the words is written in. Latrio, to serve, Ido, idol, to see, serve what you see, distribute lies, fortunes to self, demon, distribute fortunes or lies to others, demonion, devil in your modern day, watered down, lollipop. He calls it milk, it's milk, it's milk, it's what it is. Watered down milk, it's meat is what I gave you, the transliteration in the text that it was written in originally and defined in that original text <laughs> so uh idolatry is to serve self distribute fortunes and lies to self pornea is the word in the greek so not like naked ladies and you know the orgy sex 
party that they held their seven day festival, you know, to the eating of the mass, say, you know, the, the mass, say of the flesh of the king of the festival of their Saturn, right? Or the Yule, the feast of the Yule, or the feast of the Saturn, or the feast of the Saturnalia, right? All their pagan eating of the flesh. It's just a, a bastardized version of it now in, in a different, under a different label and a different name. Remember, nothing happens. They just change the accounts and their names change. So Christmas is the orgy sex Jesus festival of the eat my body king that the Catholics celebrate is crackers and grape juice. You know, the ignorance is bliss. Remember, no knowledge. I'll throw them in the place of no knowledge. Busos, bathos, knowledge. Uh, the gates, the letter A in the Greek alphabet. Play, hell is the place of no knowledge, abyss. So there we go. That's why they get thrown in that place. Funny how this is. Yeah, it's all the same celebration, Normus. It's all the same. All those pagans were trying to do. Remember, they prayed to the sun, or they thought that the sun was going away, so they prayed to the Saturn. Because he, that was a time marker. It marks time and has the slowest rotation around the sun. So they thought they can slow the sun going away. They were silly pagans. Like silly rabbit tricks are for kids. So they were just trying to get from the 923 on your Equinox calendar. 923. Make a cross. Make a cross. And then make this swastika. You know I've taught this lesson before. <laughs> it's a... Uh, it's that they thought that there was a goddess of heaven spinning the the big dipper around the pole star and they thought that the sun was dying and going off so they prayed to saturn and they had an orgy sex festival for seven days from the 17th to the 24th of december leading up to the birth of their sun god the one that donald mcnugget mctrumpet mr mr abba donald john mcnugget right Mc, no <laughs> my bad that Trump has his house decorated, the one that's going to be reelected as the 47th president of the United States. That's how ignorant this country is that I live in. And I think maybe I should leave this country before the election. This starting kind of hit me kind of hard, man. This dude's coming back. Millimeter ways, millimeter, I got to get off this. Millimeter ways, millimeter bowls, right? Walls you can't see. Walls you can't, Hotel California, check in, but you can never leave. Remember, Mr. Stinky Musk up there with this shield, star shield. They're watching everything you do here on the ground. They see everything you do. None of this is not going without being seen. The all-seeing eye. They got to be like the Most High. Remember, he's. they're going to do everything that the Most High tries to do. Mimic and mirror. Giannis, Janus, the two-faced Jack or Jokel. Two jokers in a deck of cards. Two Trump cards. Get it? Trump cards. Ha, ha, ha. It trumps. It, you know, all the cards in the deck. The wild card. Get it? Woo. No, never mind. Just get, it's too much, guys. But uh, been in this studies for decades. So it's so everything pointed at this time, though. We're here. This is it. <laughs> uh, no, it's here. Enormous member. We're already three and a half years into the extinction event. We're already here. We're already here. I've already told you we're in the new age. We're not waiting for anything. These things are happening. There are millions of people that are already been displaced by these wars from America and all these money that's true. All the future civilizations have no future because they've already spent all their futures. These last two, three presidents have just, they're spending $1 trillion a day or uh, $1 trillion every hundred days printing up that's insane that's unsustainable most people can't talk economics so it's done put a fork in it it's already happening it's already over we're just uh riding out the storm into more and more what the word calls sorrows and increase like a woman in labor I'm sure i have a woman in here right now she knows how to kid that increases the labor comes on it goes pulls back gets more intense it's a and it's increasing more pull back a little bit and then it's going to come back harder and that's how this is so we're already here. We already made it. And it's not like um, a lot of us aren't going to make it. A lot of us are going to make it, not just survive, but thrive because things are being put in place and you reap 
what you sow. So there, we're in the sixth extinction event. Everything that's still on this earth right now made it through the last five. So extinctions don't work. When people hear extinction, like they think the wrong thing. They think everything dies. Like when they think they hear apocalypse, they're thinking Armageddon. They just don't know what they're talking about. Seriously, just don't know. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't change what the definition is. And apocalypse is the lifting of the veil. The removal of the cover, revelation to reveal, you know, we're already in that age. The heavens have declared that, you know, um, Armageddon is a whole different, <laughs> different event that happens. So, um, yeah, so uh, it doesn't matter. He He's he's in control of these heavens. He's controlling these stars right now. He's putting us back right where we were at 2,600 years ago in the same celestial pinch <laughs> you know um he's putting us back where we were at in that uh, right before when the temple was destroyed nebuchadnezzar destroyed the temple because they they committed idolatry ahab married jezebel ahab married jezebel she married they married truth to a lie sons of god came into the women of men is marrying truth to a lie and created the bullies the men are renowned are the bullies those are the ones they, those are that the bully is not giant. There were giants and, and that's a bully doesn't have anything to do with the size of a man. <laughs> there are women that are bullies. I can name one in this earth. Uh, how about uh, Hillary Clinton? There's one, there's a Nephilim for you. People are ignorant, but I don't define anything again. So, but anyways, um, it's a, uh, yeah, it's all a repeat. We're going back to that same pinch 2,600 years ago. Remember, we saw the star of Bethlehem in 2015, the Shiloh sign, which when Jupiter moved opposition, pointed to the head of Leo, which declared Christ the head of the church, the king, the lion from the tribe of Judah, right? David declared the Lamb of God. All these things I keep saying, this was a, this is all cyclical, right? We're here we are again, though. What a beautiful time, because not only do we come out of a time into a time. Remember, it's all the stuff I've been teaching you over and over and over. All the stuff that's tattooed down my arm, all this is that same it's not art. I'm not some kind of prophet. I ain't predicting nothing. You know, they put out a lot of what they do way ahead of time. They don't have to say everything. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah then, lady. There it is. It means everything to me. Our David. David declared him the lamb. He was Shiloh. He was the, he was the high priest of the church. Shiloh, the lion. They, Disney mocks him, calls him Lion King, but he was this the Leo because it, these wise men, remember, they were looking up at the king star. They were watching that king planet, Jupiter. He said there would be signs in the stars, right? And in the sun and in the moon. These are all what I, this is all this, that's the star of David. That's when the morning star... Right there, the king. The lesson I've been teaching over and over. I just don't have the effort to teach it tonight. Again, already touched, taught it once today. But if you go back and watch that last slide, I did teach it on that last slide. But yeah, this is a, it's a cycle. We're coming back into that same pinch. We're in 10, 24, 24. Our four large Jovian gas giants form that square. 79 AD, this place got rocked, you know, with, by the magnetic pinch. Our magnetic protection was at 100%. Now it's at weakened by 40%. So, no, I don't look up a, no, because that's not, that's not what you need to be looking at those type signs. The signs LW, if you follow my channel, I'll tell you what signs you need to be paying attention to. You know, as far as the more, I don't, I mean, I studied the Mayans, study the Mayans, study the Mayans. They knew the circuit, the way the stars trekked, the pole star, the North star. It's a, it's not just some, it's the moon's in the same place every 18 years. It's just a, here, let me make it easy for you. Let me make this without, because there's difference between astrology and astronomy. So they used to be more interlinked. 
but in this day and age, every game is watered down, translated, and let me show you what, let me show you what they're hiding, okay? This is what it's, all your extinction events in the cycles through the last civilization ending catastrophic events of the last 190,000 years and previous great year cycles. Okay. This is a chart. This is a star chart, if you will. <laughs> I'm going to show you where you're at in, you know, on a map where like you're here. I'm going to show you where, I, where you're in this celestial portion. I have it. Again, I've been, it's go, go watch. I've seen you in here before, LW. Go watch my last on my channel. Um, and you can actually go do it right now because only 53 seconds video. Click onto my channel and come back in and go look at that video and come back in real quick. Then you can see this and then I'll explain this a little bit more in detail too. Everybody go check out my channel video. Cool, I appreciate seeing you in here. Thank you for your return coming back, man. I, I do appreciate it, man. I don't know. Um can assume a man or a woman with LW in this day, but it's man or woman, one source, one race, the human race, man and woman. So you're one or the other, but to me, everybody have everybody put a one in the chat. If you've seen uh seen my 53 second video on my channel, will you please go watch that? Cool. All right. Thank you. Now I know. I apologize. I have much better memory now than I used to. Yeah, there's a lot of reasons why. Good stuff. I've seen you here in two, Lady in Red. Thank you so much for your return. So we know what we're talking about, this event where we passed in, where we come into that, where that is blinking, where I put that marker is where we'll, cool, it's only 53 seconds, guys. Just go give it a hit real quick and give me a thumbs up if you like that video, if you thought that was a good, if you didn't put one in there. You guys, start putting thumbs up if you can. It doesn't cost anything to thumbs up a creator. really helps the uh um yeah i did well how would i know i mean how am i going to know if you're a man or a woman you know so lw doesn't tell me anything know what i mean man <laughs> thank you uh lw i believe you're here because you come back because you like the word so you must be a sister in, in christ see seeking out the You can like that video in here and you can like the thumbs up this one in here. It always helps guys just for content creators. I do live and I'm just recently got monetized. So I apologize for that monetize in the front, but the man's got to make a living some way. <laughs> so um, I'm trying to make get by. So hallelujah. I figured the Alethea, you're here for the Alethea, the truth. You want that meat. You don't want that watered down watery doctrine. So thanks for returning. And to talk about the hard things of this world and the things that I see that they have studied this stuff for decades and um, they put a lot of white papers out on things and, you know, they, they show their face a lot of the times they, you know, what they're doing and, and they, they make it eat, you know, for, if you know the right dialectus, the right gloss of the right tongue, they speak in many different Come on, we speak in Mountain Dew now. We all know what Mountain Dew means. We know what we're saying when we try to speak around the algorithms. We know what that, oh, well, over there, they drank the Maui Dew Blast, right? Oh, right? So that we know what that means. And we can speak in different languages and colors now. People speak in colors to speak around this. We have to be more fluent and flexible in this day and age for so Content creators, you can help them out. You like somebody's content, you know, give them that thumbs up. It does help, guys. Don't cost a, um, yeah. So blues, blues. I think, guys, come on. They're signaling this blue thing. I think we all know what that means. That means, you know, you know, millimeter waves. That technology, the tech, tech that I keep telling you, and helmets too. Yes, I believe that they're going to put them up against that wall of waves that I keep talking about. Blue beam, yep. <laughs> Blue ruse, Blue do, do project. It's just they're multifaceted. See, some of you guys get this. They're not just don't the devil does not just do one thing. Sometimes he encodes it in multi ciphers and layers it in over and over and over. 
you know, um, <laughs> you know, yeah, you guys get it. They speak in so many different symbolism, you know, and it's just layered throughout society and people don't see it. So once your eyes have been open, you're like, you know, if you ever seen that, that Piper with the, whatever, I can't remember with Roddy Piper, he puts the glasses on when he finally sees the world doesn't see or what I never seen. I don't remember that movie, but once you see it, you can't unsee it. You know, it's like that thing that you stare at for a little bit. And once you see it, you know, it's there, you know, and it's, uh, you can't unsee, <laughs> uh, Did you like that? Did you watch that there? Or was that the video? <laughs> the staff, the spine. The thoracic, the raising of the jed. Remember the thoracic spine, the raising of the jed. All I'm going to add on to that lady in red. I'm going to keep adding to that because that's where we're at. Yeah, once you see it, you can't unsee anything, guys. Once you know, see, once you realize where you're at now, you know, this is a beautiful time. We're in a time where the whole world doesn't even realize we've made it into this new age. And this is the age where that deception for 2000 plus years have been put over the whole world, that blanket, that veil, that veil. And in the apocalypse, it gets lifted. This age is the age of Aquarius where that water bearer, the vessel is pouring that living water, that knowledge, you know, out on his people, Fomahawk, the fish, that is the heavenly sign that is declaring that, brothers and sisters. If you understand, too, what the sign says in the heavens, then you'll, you, you can't undo that, too. Then you really start, like most people are going to see that sign and see the water pouring out of the vessel onto Fomahawk, the fish, right? I see it as we were in that age of Pisces, the fish, and we need to work our way up to he who's pouring out that living water, that other sign in the heavens of Christ, Jesus, Aquarius, the water bearer, who won, you know, our father in heaven, pouring out that living water, like the woman at the well, remember? Um, <laughs> we don't serve any, uh, we don't serve a system anymore. We've checked out of supporting any, any of that stuff anymore. We serve the father in heaven. We're, we don't serve none of that. Most people who serve God now, they don't want to support the system anymore because they know it's not serving the people. And the federal government was there to instill the God-given rights of the people. I'm a military veteran. I, I remember this was a constitutional republic, and we have an alienable rights, natural rights, natural rights, laws of the land. I am a man of the land and soil. I've rebuked being a, a citizen of this country. I'm none of that anymore. I don't support the system. It's filthy, nasty, just funds war and death. And he said, be meek. It's not an eye for an eye. So they're going, this country is going against, against this testament that he made with his bride. So I rebuke this government with their war machine because I served it. I know the shoe's been on the other foot and I've been a police officer and a tyrant as well. Put people in jail for no, no, no victimless crime, the state. So I'm done with it. He said, come out of her, my people. He pulls everybody. Remember Paul was a mass murder of Christians and a Pharisee. The ones who hung Christ and he pulled that mass murder rebuked his heart on the road to Damascus and changed his heart. So if he can change Paul, he can take whoever he chooses. So I know the things I've done might not have been the right things, but I was very young when I made, I was 17 when I joined the military. So you'll know them by their fruit. You know, I would never support a man who decorates his house with Satan. Apollyon and calls himself a Christian. You know, I don't need to say anything else at all. So I don't support war and death and pain, have people's taxes paid. And when there's people dying in the streets of this country, veterans, women, children, and they're paying even the people, non citizens in this country money, this government. So none of them. And Trump will come back in and 47 will be elected the president. And we'll do the same thing. Nothing will change, just like it always is. Nothing changes but the weather. So 
not focused on any of those pretendants, even though I talk about them because I like to expose that they're, <laughs> how could you decorate your house with Satan and call yourself a Christian? And he'll be reelected president, guys. So <clears throat> anyways, um, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm a man of the land and soil and I don't support none of that. Go back to small communities, check out of this system, stop supporting these people that want to, um, enslave you and 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 when there's other people in countries that have, have looked up to this country to to for their freedoms you know and and everybody lockstep did the same thing in this country too stood on the x shut down all these small businesses you know that was a huge wipeout of of the middle class you know people don't see what these governments state and state and federal did wiped out the middle class of this country and, and people still wanted to, they don't want to look at none of that. They, they just think it was some real deal or whatever when, but it, it's more than that. You know, just like I believe what is coming, people ain't gonna be able to get out of the way. You can't get out of the way of something you don't see coming, right? In millimeter ways, right? And millimeter bowls. <laughs> so, and they put it in everybody's face. So, yeah, the middle was, it was the backbone of the country. Not people who, 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 you know, employed 500, 1,000. People who employed 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, 12 people, 15. The backbone of this country. Gone. Wiped out. Just during the first... Just, just during the first, flatten the curve. Two weeks, we're going to flatten the curve. Two to three million small businesses in America shuttered their doors and never opened them again. So anybody who supports this government is an apostasy to God. All they do is fund war and death. And 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 the only reason I stay here is because there's brothers and sisters in Christ. I have a ministry that, that people come and I could do this from anywhere, but I've ever seriously been thinking because as much as this information that I've been putting out about this millimeter waves and millimeter bowls and all that, but I got to remember where I live, these maps that I'm putting out, all these things that I've been electronically, you know, had issues with since the day that I put out the overlay video, two videos back. That's right. Right now, everybody in here, go Go look at the two videos back on my channel. Don't go anywhere. I won't go anywhere. I'll be on here in front of it. it was, go look at two videos back. The other one in front of it's 53 seconds. They're worth the watch. Look what I'm talking about. I want to get up and I want to show you this stuff. I'm wiped out, man. I'll come do it again on this channel. Give me a subscription. The channel's growing anyways. I don't need your, um, just look at it and look at what I'm putting out and you decipher it. Chew out, chew up the meat and spit out the bones. He says, discern all things. Discern all things, okay? So I'm not trying to uh, to uh, turn a goat into a sheep. I'm not trying to change anybody in here. You do what you want, okay? But I suggest you go look at these videos of what I'm putting out. If you look at, if you live in America and see what I've discovered, I've been electronically harassed since that day. I make my living by buying and sell. I live off the grid. I make my own power. I have for five years. I've checked out of this system. I don't support the system. I believe in becoming your own system, your own power company. Be growing your own food and doing your own thing with small communities. Bring this small community back to this country. You know, this is how we do it, guys. This is how we take this country back. If enough people peacefully go around this country what they're doing right now and start doing it ourselves. They couldn't give us crappy GMO food. Do you understand? They would couldn't give us this box, disgusting stuff we're feeding to our kids just for food alone, man. I need, it doesn't need to be political. It doesn't need to be political. It doesn't need to be about religion. This is something we should be doing for our children, eating, giving them better food. We sure we can give them a better education other than, you know, um, do you do you feel like Jack or you feel like Jill? You know, and now do you want to sew, you know, oh, oh J uh, Jack wants a pocket and he she wants a button. You know, there's just getting out of hand, man. 
We need to take this country back peacefully peacefully we don't need to be i am a veteran i know i i you know i've served this death and war machine okay i've been a veteran a police officer i'm done with that i'm, I'm done that we we make the change by making small communities becoming self-sufficient getting off the system find two or three or four people this community where i live you can live without being harassed because they have they can't this is not there's ways to do it with if you know your rights and you assert your rights. There's no off grid internet. You guys are so ignorant. I'm not going to respond to the ignorant. So, um, yeah, because I'm hoping people went and looked at the channel. I just told everybody to take and go look. Please go look at this video and come back and go. Holy crap! I live over there on the over there on the east coast, and that looks like on that map that water's going to come all the way up to the. You know, and I'm not telling people have to do that. You know, I still haven't figured the exact date on that cycle, but I show you that magnetic pinch on why I think it's going to happen. And I've, you know, I've stayed in my case. I think they should uh, already be telling everybody about the five geomagnetic, you know, storms that we had that caused the five, 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 not two in 12 years, five and one, not with X class fares heavy proton events, just M class. That's, that's out of control guys. We had five low latitude Aurora events in, in one year. It's this is, they should be telling every country should be telling their people to, Hey, look, don't panic, but we need to probably start getting ready if something happens because the, the protection from the sun's getting weak. It's not, it's not mag. It's not, you know, and I know why, because people panic, you know, yeah, and the magnetic excursion that we're in right now, we're right in the middle of a magnetic excursion. Yep. Thank you, um, Ladybug, for being awake. These are things that have been happening. The magnetic excursion has been happening since the 1800s. Uh, so, yeah, I get, I've been, I haven't, honestly, since I put out my water overlay video on TikTok when I had 20,000 followers on that channel. Boom, it got shut down. My live stream was shut down. If you go watch the next video after the, the, the water video that I did on TikTok, I also am an auditor and I audit the police because I don't like the government and I don't like police. I used to be a police officer. I know what kind of tyranny goes on in law enforcement. The shoe has been on the other foot. You know, trust you. I'm, like I said, I'm whatever. I ain't trying to change anybody. I'm just putting out the message. I know what I see. And if people want to hear it anymore right now that I'm starting to realize that he's been showing me that people will reap what they sow, Tracy. Stop. Don't push too hard, man. Don't push too hard. I actually don't want most people to hear your message. Don't push too hard, Tracy. Remember, I don't want most people to hear it. I don't want most people to know. And remember, you can talk to them, remember, blue, until you're blue in the face, Tracy, and they won't hear it. I will not give them an ear to hear or eyes to see. You can show them all the evidence. It's like the thumpsters now. All these people who support Trump and his old, and he's going to get reelected and whatever. I ain't trying to change it. I just like get out of the way like Corona is whatever. I'll do my thing like I did. Stood up to the police, held police, uh, held rallies, you know, in front of the police department, tried to stand with the small businesses, got the police all pissed off at me, got the cat, everybody in this town pissed off at me. And all. Yeah, that's what I did. I, yeah, I wouldn't turn back for nothing. For what I did and I'll do the same thing again when it comes I will not stand down I will not comply I believe in natural law that all men I stand up for people's natural rights we have laws of the land that have always been here I'm eternal I don't give a what anybody thinks about me in this skin I'm gonna leave this skin and I'm gonna go back to who I was that I've always been this just meat suits temporary I could get another one or I'll get thrown in the abyss I know what the word of God says I ain't I ain't playing. I don't do the things of this world because he says I'm supposed to be hated by the world, not loved by the world. So I don't do the things of the worst world. I, I, you know, I know people love it and that's agape second John and six to walk and follow the commandments of God agape love. That's their love. They love the world, but they get caught up in the things of the world punch drunk, you know, lukewarm on this, you know, and he throws all those lukewarm people that aren't on fire or innocent, like a child for him to, in the abyss, no knowledge, the place of no knowledge. It ain't for me. My people shall perish for lack of knowledge. So anyways, hallelujah. 
I can't do anything about it. <laughs> you know, I, I can't change a goat into a sheep or a sheep into a goat. This channel is called predestination, right? Predestined for light. That's the word predestination in this book of Romans, right? Through his apostle Paul, 8 and 29, he said he had foreknowledge. I also had foreknowledge through the word uh, he foreknew. I've given you the Greek meaning for prognosko to mean he had foreknowledge of the ones that he predestined. He pulled them from the darkness and from their sin. Like I said, the apostle Paul was a sinner. <laughs> he was a mass murderer of Christians and a Pharisee, but he pulls those. He rebuked Paul's heart on the road to Damascus. I don't doubt anything that the father can do, but... You know, he said he had foreknowledge, prognosco. I had foreknowledge of the ones I did predestine. I pulled them. The predestination means to be, to be the, the division, to be determined from the division of those that are imprisoned in this sin, in this darkness, in this dust, from this corrupt dust of this earth, and the, the, the division of the day and night and dark and light. And he pulls them into his harizo, his light, the right. Get it? You know, those I also did foreknow that he predestined. I pulled them from their darkness, their sin. They're imprisoned in that darkness. The division of day, dark and night, right? Dark and light, day and night. And I pulled them from their darkness into the horizon, into the light. And that's what the channel's name is, Predestined for Light. So I don't choose that. He chose that. Hashtag this from the foundation of the world. What part of the hashtag from what part of the foundation of the world do you not understand? He already chose his bride. Nobody can be saved. Can't be saved in your lifetime. That's an apostasy, and I rebuke any, all these preachers, pastors, deacons, reverends, anybody thinks they can be saved, is they're an idolater. God said, if I did not call out to their hearts to seek after me, there are such idolaters that not one of them would. So um, he does it. He rebukes our hearts, and he pulls us to him. Not We don't do it, so you can't be saved. You are already purchased possession. The word is sozo, saved. Define it in the Greek. That means to be taken and carried from beginning point to the ending point. That's why he said we must endure to the end to be saved. So, anyways. There you go. Well, you came to the right place. I just gave you the definition for of it. <laughs> so, I don't do religion, guys. Anyways, I don't do politics. I don't do none of that. I've, I'm trying to make sure that I can get through this test of my testament that we're under that he paid that bride price for. So this is not an eye for an eye law anymore. And that's what I did as a veteran going outside our borders is an eye for an eye. And that's an apostasy to the new Testament. That's not under God's, that's not under his Testament that we're under. Now you can't go back and seek vengeance. He said, let vengeance be mine, saith the Lord. So I know my hands are, like I said, I have the blood on my hands. I know. And I'll pay the price, I'm sure. But I have to make sure that in this time that I sound the alarm, blow the horn that this is not of God. This this fighting outside our borders is 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 all of it. everybody who's doing it right now is not following the testament we're under. That's the old testament. And he came back to make a new living will. He was the testament of that will that he made. Remember, he was the testor. There was a law back there, the Jewish law, 613 law, statutes, commandment, the old testament remember genesis Exodus, leviticus numbers and deuteronomy were laws that was the jewish law that applied to the jews not to the gentiles right like this sabbath you had to keep the sabbath let the land lie fallow on the day of rest the, the, the levitical laws right the, the dietary laws no you know no scales the scaleless all the splits hoof eats the cut all the dietary laws all the right those apply to the Jews. Those were laws. We're not under that law as far as he fulfilled the law. You can't go kill somebody now, right? It used to be that way. He came and made a new law. He fulfilled the law that you can't steal from somebody. You used to be able to go do that, right? Somebody killed your sister. You go back and kill his sister because it was an eye for an eye. We're not under that law anymore. We're, it's not that he fulfilled the law and he made a new testament. To make an amendment, think about it as a as a, as a contract. As he made like a bride and a bridegroom. <laughs> you got knocked off, chat. All right. Well, lady, we're gonna make sure. See if that don't happen. See if that helps. There. Hold on. There are you there, lady. I'm gonna appreciate you coming here. I'm gonna 
try to help. Maybe this will help there. So, but this is a contract, just like a bride between a bride and a bridegroom. Put your religion aside. Keep your religious nonsense out of here. We're not doing any religion in here. This is this is it's a contract that he made. Remember, he divorced his bride for idolatry, worshiping the traditions of men, going after other gods, little deity gods, right? Little G gods, demons, demonions, tributes, fortunes, lies. Cool. There we go. We'll see if that'll keep you in here. Thank you for your all your comments. Appreciate your uh, your your uh, hitting that subscription button, coming back and visiting again and again. So, um, I don't look at it as religion. I look that I know that uh, little G gods, you know, they prayed after. Remember Jezebel, Ahab married Jezebel. That's why he split the kingdom because Ahab was a man of God. Jezebel was a woman who went after other gods and she would teach the kid, the children those traditions not the agape not the 613 law statutes and commandments the torah so when ahab would go out to war or to work for extended periods of time god did not that's why the woman was supposed to be subservient to the man when it came to the church that's why he's supposed to treat a woman's body like he treats the church or like he treats his own you understand? That is not, people have forwarded that, perverted that. Think about how many men, give me a beer, you know. That's not what that means. And that's why God wanted Ahab, that's where Ahab married truth to a lie. He married Jezebel, and Jezebel worshipped Baal, Baal, idolatry, all that Saturnalia, Feast of the Yule, all those pagan gods, the tree gods, Moloch, Right, all that same Saturnalia, all that festival, all the Lupercalia, all that same traditions of men that turned into perverting the whole 10 northern tribes became perverted. Jezebel, that spirit became throughout the northern tribes and God split that kingdom. And that's where people have perverted this whole marrying truth to a lie and made this whole story about sons of God, sons of God came into the women of men. Women of men are the traditions of men. A man can have a man, a man can be a Jezebel. That is somebody who is an antichrist and doesn't follow the agape, doesn't go by e at that time, the 613 law, statutes, commandments. This is what marrying truth to a lie. The sons of God came into the women of men and created the bullies. Those that went around and pushed this doctrine and tainted the ten kingdoms, this bell worship, other gods, deities. This isn't, they don't teach this, brothers and sisters. This isn't taught in churches. This is something that God has revealed to me through my teachings and my lessons and then my studies through Brother Jim at predestination, coming to that understanding. Now, truly understanding, so I can hopefully articulate without being religious. The Nephilim, the bullies, bullies, bully. That's the definition, bully, bully, bully. Not giant. There were giants. Yes, remember? Now, hold on. The ten kingdoms were split. That left the two kingdoms. Take notes. The two kingdoms, yes, Anak. Yep, that's right, the land of Anak. So some people know this isn't religion. This is history. Um, there were giants. David slayed a giant. There were in the days of Noah and Lot, there were giants in the land. Remember, there was okay, going back to the lesson here. The ten kingdoms were split because Ahab married Jezebel, and she had brought in all that other little G God deity going after Bel and Moloch and 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 the 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 uh, Lupercalia, the, the Apollyon. The one that Trump has his house decorated, whether people want to accept that or not, it doesn't matter. That's who he has his house decorated with. The one that they celebrated after their orgy, Saturnalia Festival, and on the December 25th, the birth of their son, God Apollyon. So they went after all these gods and idolatry, made their own laws, and God split the kingdom for this. That's when it said they married truth to a lie. They created the men of renown, and they went around and bullied and tainted all the kingdom with these false gods they thought there were gods in the sky there was a there was a goddess of heaven spinning 
the pole spinning the big dipper around the pole star, the goddess of heaven. That was their Yule festival, 923, all this Samhain. These are all pagan holidays that people celebrate now under another name. It doesn't matter. God's not. He divorced his bride back then. Remember, as a contract, we'll get back to the testament that he made in blood, and we got to go back in history here if you want to understand what that you got to understand what happened here. So once the kingdom was split, God that left two tribes, the southern tribes of Jeremiah and Judah. God had given them one more chance, and he told them to go into the land of Anak, into the wilderness, and scout out the giants. Not aliens, not fallen angels, not sons of God, because the sons of God are those who do the will of the Father. It says that in his book, your brother and your mother and your sister are those that do the will of the Father. He is our Father in heaven, and that is our family. We have a dad and a mom. That's blood. That's not our family. When he said in the Ten Commandments, honor thy father and thy mother. If your dad is doing unrighteous things, you rebuke him. You don't have to honor your dad if he's not doing. That's not what it said by honoring thy father and thy, thy mother is my brother and sister that does the will of the father. You have a mom, and if she's a Jezebel, you rebuke her, and you don't keep company with vipers. I don't care if she's your blood. That's not your family, according to God. But people don't. They think, honor thy father and my mother my mom. Oh, I got to respect them because they do that. I tried to bring my mom to these truths. And I gave up. I'm done. I didn't even rebuke her. I just let God deal with it. I just don't want to deal with it anymore. You know, it just is what it is. I can't. My dad died celebrating Christmas. It killed him. Christmas killed my dad. He used to dress up as Nimrod, Satan, the orgy sex Jesus. So I don't know. He died when I was younger and 16 years old, you know, and so I don't even want to go into that. But anyway, so this left the two kingdoms, brothers and sisters. It's, yeah, Christmas killed my dad. I know that's kind of crazy. Maybe I'll tell you the story another time. But anyways, um, he split those two kingdoms. That's why I've always been such a Grinch. Maybe that's why I know these things a little better than some, because I've always studied these holidays and these vain traditions of men. Jezebel spirit that, you know, women of men. <laughs> so um, he split these two kingdoms. He told them to go into the land of Anak, into the wilderness, this is where we get the Anakin Skywalker and all your space and Star Wars and fallen angels. And there's nothing alien stuff. That's all. There's nothing. That's all. That's all man. That all comes from them telling lies to people's vision on television. The old first time you ever saw an alien big circles and all that, that was put to you in front of you and on, your, you know, this whole corkscrewing and spinning through a ball in time and space. You know, believing that grandma is up there in heaven because she died and she's in heaven is heaven is the ruling class. The earth is the rule. But anyways, you guys, when God split the kingdom, he had the two tribes, the southern tribes. That was Jeremiah and Judah. And he told them to go. He sent them into the land of the wilderness into the this is south of Israel, south of where they were at the land of Israel. There were giants, and they were called the Champions, the Philistines. They have different names. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to give you a couple. There's more names than that. But they were told to go take out these were the men that God said, go kill all these giants. They're in the land. We obviously, if you study, know what these men were doing. They were bullies. And he said, kill them. And they came back and failed. <laughs> and God they remember they came back and said we were like grasshoppers to them and they failed their mission and that's when fine god finally divorced his bride <laughs> and for every day that they did not go into the land of the anunnaki <laughs> anakin skywalker da 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 space the the giants in the land of the giants of the anak and scout out and kill the giants and slay the giants like david slayed a giant there were giants not aliens, <laughs> not fallen angels, <laughs> can't be a son of God. The sons of God came into women of men and create a fallen angel is not doing the will of the father. He fell from the heavens, from grace to earth. 
Remember, like Satan fell from, like Barack Obama, the Hebrew word for lightning, it's a lightning fall from heaven to earth, right? They fell from grace. How could you be a son of God? A son of God is doing the will of the Father. Remember, Ahab was doing the will of the Father. Je Jezebel was not. She worshiped that other, and he split the kingdom for that. But they believe in aliens because they want people to believe in space that we're corkscrewing and spinning when the word of God says that the earth cannot be moved from its foundation. It, it will be shaken as well as the heavens, but you can't corkscrew and spin me. <laughs> but anyways, so when they went into the land and they failed their mission, God made them wander 10 years for every day because they were given 40 days. 40 days to go into the wilderness and kill all the giants. And they came back and failed. We were like grasshoppers to him. God had said, that's enough. I've seen it. I'm sending the sword, the famine, the pestilence, the beast. That's when all these things happened. That's when the, the temple was destroyed in 70 AD, which Christ predicted three years later. The temple was destroyed, right? 79 AD, we go into this magnetic pinch that I'm telling you about. So this is writing about the time of Christ celestially in the heavens again which rocked this earth and you know pompeii when you know was covered in ashes bed of suba went off this was yeah this earth is about to get rocked but anyways back to the lesson they failed their their mission to go into the land where the giants were at and they were given it 40 days uh they failed and god made them wander 10 years in the desert for, for every day they did not go into the land and scout out the giants. It, it's not religion. It's not, this is historical, maybe biblical record or, or scriptural. I don't like saying Bible, scriptural record of, of, of the events that happened. And so God divorced his bride. He had a bride and that was Israel. And if you actually study, because you need to learn what the word heavens means. You can't believe in space and think that there's heaven. God, it says in the book of Psalms 19, that, that, that the firmament declares his handiwork. There is the waters above and the waters below. <laughs> it, people believe in space and, you know, aliens and they're going to be fooled. So that's okay. Um, people can believe what they want. I don't want to. Let, let's go back to the definition just real quick and we'll go back to this. Okay. A, a son of God, a son of God is doing the will of the father. Okay, those are your brothers, your sister, and your mother, according to the what it says in God's book. It says that your brothers and your sister and your mother are those that do the will of the Father. Those are the sons of God. They're doing the will of the Father. Right? Check. That's not, we're not perverting anything. We're not forwarding. That's fact. So the sons of God came into the women of men. They're doing the will of the Father. Ahab was following the 613 law, statutes, and commandments. Of God. They loved God. They got paid God. Remember, Israel loved God. And they didn't go after other gods and make up their own laws. And there was no nation that could come against the nation of Israel, guys. Remember, go back and read the scripture and don't read it like some religious book. Go back and remember these battles that Israel had. Remember that the 7,000 man army that just annihilated that 120,000 man army. There was no nation. He said, if you agape me, if you follow in my commandments, Second John and 6, if you love me, his bride, Israel, which he calls out his bride, your enemy will come at you one way and I will make them flee seven ways, right? He protected that nation of Israel. They were the ruling class. They were the heavens of this earth and the earth was the rule. So the heavens are the ruling class, not space. There's a firmament. But there's not a space and people got it. It was they can't get that. They watch too much television, too much Star Trek, too much Nanu Nanu Shazbot, you know, Mork for Mork. I just it is what it is, guys. I'm trying to stick to this lesson so I can give it to you as tailored as I can. So don't go off on something else. Son of God is doing the will of the Father, so that's your brother and your sister and your mother. That is not eat crackers and grape juice, eat my body. That's not eat my body like the Catholic Church says, eat my body. Christ said, eat my body. That is your brothers and your sister and your mother is the body of Christ. So he never said, eat my body. That goes back to that paganism God, the orgy sex king. They have two kings. Remember, there's a new one locked up in the abyss. 
And then we have our king, Shiloh. We have our king, Shiloh, remember? Shiloh was declared as the high priest of the church. That is Christ Jesus declared in the heavens, the lion, Leo, from the tribe of Judah, that David declared the lamb of God. It was declared that the lion, shall, right, the scepter shall not depart from Judah, the high priest, the one who wears that, you know, like Aaron and the Levites, to get in to the church. He had to be related to the priest or you weren't getting in. You were going to hell. The law didn't even apply to you. But that high priest is declared in the heavens by the father. He's the one who... Um, Spins these stars. Don't try to convince me to come in your tent, read my palm and rub on your ball and tell me fortunes. He controls these stars. He proved that. Remember, he 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 uh, he loosens the Orions and he tightens the Pleiades. Brothers and sisters, uh, you know, there's you know, these stars are markers for me. And so I pay attention like the wise men. But this sign declared that he is the head of the church, the high priest, the king which was declared, it says that the scepter shall not depart from Judah, the lion from the tribe of Judah until Shiloh returns. And so he is the one who holds this inheritance. He is the high priest and then the one who protects his church is the one who married to the, to, to the, he divorced, remember his bride for going after these other gods. And he proved that this is one, you know, that his high priest of the church, that we are the body. And so that son of God, is those that do the will of the Father, your brothers, your sister, and your mother, the body of the church. He is the head, we are the body. The Catholic Church says, eat crackers and grape juice, the body of Christ, but they perverted it. They do the paganism. They added all the holidays that aren't on the original, that are not in scripture. Most people should just get that and go, wait a minute, it doesn't say Christmas in the Bible. Why am I... Why am I celebrating? It says Easter one time, but I translated that actually meant Passover and they ate the Passover lamb. It's not crackers and grape juice, not chocolate eggs, silly rabbits. There were men facing the East 500 years before Christ had ever risen, worshiping the rising of the sun. And this Catholic church has got you going to Easter sunrise service, going to the mass. M-A-S-S-E is the eating of human flesh. Remember the orgy sex king that they ate? Whoops. Cool. Anyways, guys, so the sons of God, I'll keep my markers. I'll keep my markers. Okay. I used to be a reconstructionist. I was an investigator, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter. It was years ago. I tried to take my, care of myself, guys. Um, all glory to the Father. This is the Father doing it. He brought me to this Alethea. We need to stop and give all glory to the Father. Thank you, Father, for all these hearing ears and uh, those that have eyes to see with the animation here with the hands. So normally I have a whiteboard and I'll teach with a whiteboard, but just it's the end of the day, guys. I'm about ready to go to bed. I was going to go to bed, but you guys got me all fired up. So um, I don't know who asked the question. Once you ask me one question, you get me started. You get me wound up. So sons of God, when the sons of God, your brothers and your sister and your mother, brothers and sisters, eat your mother. Eat your mother. And that's what he meant. He meant to eat of this is what we're doing right now, brothers and sisters. Okay, where there are two or three gathered in my name. They're all be in their midst. He wants you to eat the meat, not little masse, the human flesh. That is your body. That's what we're supposed to do. Iron sharpens iron. We edify each other with the word. Hallelujah. Through these lessons, through these teachings, you writing it down, you spread this. Hallelujah. It's all him doing it. It's not me. I'm filthy rags. I'm donkey dung on the donkey he rode in on. Okay. I'm filthy rags. Remember, I'm a veteran. I've done horrible things. I've served this country as a, as a, as a tyrant, you know. I'm a train killer. I'm a veteran. I I vote for somebody who's a mass murderer and say he's red and he's blue, but they're a mass murderer and still vote for him. Okay, guys, sons of God, sons of God are those that do the will of the father. Sons of God, that's your brothers and your sister and your mother as Ahab. Ahab, right? It was a son of God. So if a son of God in a fallen angel, that can't be a fallen angel is fallen from grace, right? Out of grace. To earth, so that can't be a son of God. Now, an alien? Are you an alien? If you're, if you, uh, if you're an alien, you know. Are you, now, if you believe what I just said, right? Not believe like a verb, but you know, you understand what I said. That if a son of God is doing the will of the Father, doing the will of the Father, right? If a son of God is doing the will of the Father, your brothers, your sister, and your mother. 
sons of God, are you an alien? Is that what you are? Are you an alien? Because they believe that the sons of gods were aliens or fallen angels. And we already know they're not fallen angels. How about we just uh, define, you know, like I said, what, you know, sons of <laughs> an alien is an alien. Hold on. Is an alien an angel? An angelos, that is the word angelos in the Greek or the word messenger. They have the same meaning. Hados, they're the same, same, same. Hados, right? And he said, I am the Hados. I am the, I am the way. <laughs> so does an alien mean the same thing as angel? Or do they have the same definition? So I, it, it, it's television, guys. It's too much Star Trek. It's too much Star Wars. It's too much believing in space. Elon Musk. All this, there's a lower atmosphere. There's all this, you know, I know all the layers are atmosphere. But you guys, a son of God cannot be an alien. A son of God cannot be a fallen angel. So that kind of debunks their whole space alien nonsense, okay? So you can believe whatever you want. I'm not trying to make anybody believe anything. But most people are going to fall for it very soon. Because that's what they're going to do is bring their tech back from the 1800s. Trump's family has it. Mr. Uh, Mr. Uncle John, uh, Operation Warp Speed, you know, remember the millimeter wave? That's Tesla. That's the same thing that Tesla was messing with. So what I see, if you now that I have a captured a couple of your ears, and I don't care if there's just one or two or three, where there are two or three gathered in my name, there I'll be in their midst. I see millimeter waves. I see Mr. 45 coming back as 47 and putting us under, you know, um, I'll send the executive orders to your door and deliver you the Jabaduski in warp speed. Remember, bow to the altar of Jabba, get the roll up your sleever. You know, remember the number one selling product ever in the world, Pfizer, the greatest jab ever in warp speed. So, um, yeah, you don't have to stay here if you don't want. We're we're not playing silly reindeer games. We're not pagans. We don't go to ch churches, houses made by hands. We're trying to discern what, what in the abyss is going on in this world where our president has his house decorated with the sun god and calls himself a Christian and will be reelected. Didn't matter whether you believed that COVID was real or not. It didn't matter if it was real or not because it still had real world effects. <laughs> so, um, you know, it's too bad that people's ignorance is giving them bliss, but remember they get thrown in the place of the abyss, no knowledge. Uh, so... House made by hands. That's what he said. I do not dwell in house made by hands. So, yep, the sky is uh, purple. Take that, you fact checkers. So, thank you for you. Do you guys understand where I'm going with that lesson? So, they wandered the desert, okay, for 400 years. We'll go on with the lesson here. They wandered the desert for 400 years. They wanted a place of worship. Remember, Nebuchadnezzar destroyed the temple. He destroyed that law that was written in the Ark of the Covenant that was housed in the temple. And God gave them the, the the rabbis, and at the time of Christ, they became the Pharisees, right? And then the most studied so it could still speak that before they translated that 613 law, statutes, and commandments. That's a whole lesson on baptism. Logan, if you subscribe to me, I'll give you a whole lesson on baptism. I do a full, it's a full lesson on it. Through this, what I'm trying to, through the teaching here about the Halakha and the Haggadah, the changing of his laws his 613 law statutes commandments so that's a whole nother lesson i don't have time that's an hour, a whole hour of the lesson if you truly want you guys any any questions i want to refer to you to my teacher and my brother who teaches predestination um if dsw ross somebody's in here if they can drop a link to brother jim at grace and truth ministries this is high desert grace and truth brothers i, I have a mirror ministry of brother jim my teacher I'm sorry, it's getting late, guys. Worked all day here and trying to. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll get back to that lesson here and finish it up. So you understand why it's important with the bride that the New Testament that we're under. We got a certain contract. It's a it's a a contract between a bride and a groom. So um, if not, it's Grace and Truth Ministries. No, I'm not Calvinist. I don't teach Calvinism. They believe that children go to hell. That's disgustingly filthy. Uh, yeah, I watch all that. Uh, it's good to see you in here. Oh, there you are. 
That's uh, Lynn. That's you, correct, Lynn? I'm pretty sure. Either way, I'm pretty sure. That's you, right? Lillian? That's you, Lynn? From TikTok? Apologize for the interruption here, guys. I think I one of my followers that's been over from TikTok coming over here to this platform wanted to touch bases. I think last time I, I even called Lynn Lillian. Um, uh, give me one second, guys. Brothers, sisters, thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. a little war out here today. Really multitask out here in the desert, trying to get this shelter ready. Um, I'm trying to prepare for weather is all. I'm not trying to prepare for politics or anything like that. Um, we have all glory to the Father, all glory to the Most High. He's got me out here in this tabernacle, this my old place, a, a bunch of bunch of old boards put together on a, on a semi trailer living out here in this cabin out and here in the high desert, you know, a wandering inward or inwardly Jew out in the desert in the tabernacle. <laughs> so, um, was that you? Is that you Lynn? <laughs> um, anyways. Okay. Moving on guys. Um, remember the, the law, the original law, the 613 law statutes and commandments, those were Genesis right? Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, those were the Jewish law, okay? And those were, remember, they were housed within the temple, all that, the Ten Commandments, and they were, um, bless you, Chris, thanks for coming in. Yeah, I'll hold my spot. What do you got? I don't know what that name. Uh, thanks for coming in, Chris. I don't know what that means, man. <sighs> I don't know what you're talking about. But okay, so anyways, um, the Jewish law was housed, remember, within the temple. Nebuchadnezzar had destroyed the temple. That original law was written in Hebrew, and they had translated the law into Aramaic. Yes, thanks for coming in, Chris. So I don't know where, I don't know if that was Lynn that was in there, but. Uh, oh, I can't answer that in this one. That's a whole nother lesson. You're going to troll. Cool. All right. Hey, thanks for not trolling, man. I'm trying to keep the lesson going here. I'll keep my markers, guys. I know where I'm at. I've done TikTok with 1,200 people in the chat before. I'm a reconstructionist. I don't do drugs. I don't know if that was somebody insinuating or something, but. Please don't bring up drugs in this chat. Um, every once in a while, some children in here um, float through here. I don't. Uh, they're doing pretty good. At, I've been looking at my analytics. They're not letting them in anymore. So, um, but every once in a while, they filter in here. They don't need to hear that. This world's already hard enough. Uh, we don't need to push. All they all come in talking about the same things. Uh, <laughs> nice, good stuff. Jojo, I like that. You're mo it's it's hard to get a good mojo. Yeah, good Jojo. That's funny. That's a good term. Uh, yeah, me neither. I don't like the government. They don't support us anymore. I served it. Sorry, but that's the name. Okay, cool. Dylan, it was Grace and Truth. No problem. Grace and Truth. Grace and Truth Ministries. And that's Brother Jim. And he can answer any of your questions. The reason why I'm, pa I'm pausing, guys, I'll be I'll remember where I'm at, is that uh he teaches any questions you have about baptism, salvation, any of that. He'll teach you the same thing. He teaches how I teach you how to study out of a, out of an inner linear. You know, there's a four volume set that I studied that's in the original Hebrew and the original Greek. Going back to what I'm going to say, that you you want to study out the original text that it was written in. So back to <laughs> back to the lesson, okay? Um, back to the lesson. They had taken and destroyed the Hebrew when they trans translated it. And uh, <laughs> it's right on time, right there, right, good stuff. Hallelujah, all glory to the Father. So they trans they translated the law, guys. They took the Hebrew and they translated it into um, blessings, guys, blessings. Thank you for guys for coming in and participating with each other too. I appreciate that, guys. That's why people, that's why this channel now has over 
7,500 subscribers. I did a stream the other day for seven or eight hours and we picked up all, over a thousand followers. Hallelujah, Father. Wow, what a blessing. This channel is uh, leaps and bounds. Just about a month ago, it was 300 people on this channel, guys. So it's the Father is obviously has something to do with this. All glory to the Father. <laughs> so back to what I'm saying, Brother Jim, Grace and Truth Ministries. He's my teacher. He is my pastor. Obviously, I teach as well. I mirror, I mirror Brother Jim's teachings by um, definition and by teaching out of the first 66 books. Um, Brother Jim doesn't teach out of Enoch, Jasher, or any of these others. There, there's not that you can't. I recommend you get the first you know, 53 down in the Hebrew, <laughs> study it. There's enough to pull it out one word at a time for a lifetime before you even need to start worrying about Enoch and Jasher. And I'm not saying, cause I've read those. I've read the Quran. I've read Lilith. I've read the Dead Sea Scrolls or something, but get the base down of the original, um, is, is that you Lillian head? Is that you? Lynn, is that you, Lynn? Yeah, that's fine. I don't, I, Mike, I'm not into, like, people can do whatever they want in moderation, okay? I use cannabis as oil, cannabis oil, for because I have a busted back in the military and stuff. But, um, yeah, I just don't want the, there's kids that roll in and out of here sometimes, and people are really filthy, and they just insinuate to, uh, I don't know what it is, but these children are programmed to say about three things. They love to see people in pain. They like to talk about homosexuality and drugs. Um, I think they've just been programmed. It's just the world we live in. Uh, okay, so back. I'm trying to go back and uh, where can I find the white word classes and the CDs? Those, Eric, okay. Eric, thank you again for getting me back online. Eric, Brother Jim will send any... Brother Jim will send you send you these lessons, three of these lessons. If you already follow Brother Jim Grace and Truth, he'll send you three lessons. These are about a three-hour lesson where he takes he takes questions and people who write in, and then he answers questions. So you get a lesson. You'll get a lesson on the people who call in, and then he'll do the lesson. Like sometimes I chit chat or whatever, and I'll get up and I'll get the whiteboard. I'll I don't know if you guys see my last lesson, but I do uh, I do a whiteboard as well. I do a little bit different than his brother Jim, but I'm teaching. I teach a lot different. I have a whole different side of the ministry that he doesn't touch on. Um, I still mirror predestin predestination, but you can call over there um, and get the number to Mike and call and get CDs. Grace and Truth Ministries on YouTube. Grace and Truth Ministries on YouTube. Grace and Truth Ministries .net, and he'll give you these for free. He doesn't want your money. You don't have to tie to the ministry. As long as you keep calling them once a year or so, let them know, hey, you're li hey, we're live. <laughs> you know, we're out here. We're watching. We're part of the, you know, um, he'll send you these. And these are a gem, guys. I mean, I'm not much into possessions. I can't share what I have, and I have way, 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 way too much, and that's my burden is I can't share but if I had to be without, I mean, if the power went down, this is a gem because these are lessons. Um, uh, and he teaches through definition, just like I do. He'll define the Greek. He'll teach you how to study out of the interlinear Texas Receptus, as I was referring to. Those are the first 53 books of the Bible. They are written in Hebrew, like the original language, 613 law, statutes, commandments, the Jewish law is written in Hebrew. And Brother Jim will teach you how to define all the words in the Hebrew, just like I will teach how to study one word at a time. I don't care how much you know. That doesn't matter how much you know. You probably had to do like I did, would have to go and relearn about 70% of what you were taught incorrectly. Be better, actually, if you don't know anything. It'd be like getting a fresh start. <laughs> so don't worry about what you know. If you have a question, you want to know about baptism, Call Brother Mike, Jim, actually Brother Jim, he doesn't know where everything's at. Brother Mike's the one who takes care of all the CDs. They're at Grace and Truth Ministries in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And he'll tell you, well, oh, here, baptism is here. Um, I have one son, he's 20. He comes in here as a moderator sometimes. 
Uh, his name's Ewok, or he's Civic, actually, in here. Um, or he has a couple different, actually, he comes in a couple of, but um, Brother Jim will send you these three at a time, guys. These are nine hours of lessons and three, oh, my goodness, these are so valuable. I give them away, too, when I go out and, you know, give them away. But, man, I sure, any question that you have, though, Brother Jim through his can give you any, almost any question. I don't care what it is. If it's in the 66 books, the canonized version, if it's you're trying to speak about salvation, want a certain text or something, you can write Brother Jim. You can write him and then he might he'll he can he'll call you back normally or or Sister Mary might call you back because she's very wise and can sometimes I've spoken with his wife for more times on the phone with his wife, even than his then brother Jim, but um, it's a beautiful ministry over there, brother, sister. If you love the word and you're not afraid to go out in front of the world and, you know, tell the world that, you know, that, that you have this love for Christ or whatever, that's not going to get you any, but you're not afraid. Remember it says, if you deny me in front of your friends and your family in front of the world, I will deny you in front of my father. <laughs> so um, definitely, um, he can answer even better than me. Now, there's things that he doesn't touch on at all. <laughs> Obviously, this teaching and some of these other things. So, thanks for letting me take a pause, okay, um, to give you this message, okay? This is what I do. I try to bring people to Grace and Truth Ministries through this mirror channel and my original TikTok channel. And um, so, this is a, a good way to do it, though, to be able to... Um, have these lessons and you can call him and he knows where all of it's at and he can define it. He has 37 years. I've been studying for about 30 years. He's been studying for 67 years, going on 68 years, guys. So he is in a literally walking concordance. If you know what a concordance is, or if you know what a lexicon is, he's a walking lexicon. He's a walking concordance. He's by far the richest man on the entire earth. He makes Mr. Elon Musk look like he's got lint pocket change as far as definition definition defining all the words one at a time in the original greek and then in the original hebrew the original testament the old testament was written in hebrew the new testament the remaining 13 books were written in greek 53 13 total of 66 the number of man so thank you guys for the pause as the temple was destroyed. They wanted a place of worship. They had translated the Old Testament, the Hebrew, into Aramaic. And as Moses was given the oral law on the mount and given it to, and he pounded that table, you know, on the tablets. It wasn't a Bible like we have today. It was written on stone. He said that on that tablets, on that stone, that that oral law was given to, and they had created a separate perversion of the law. It was called the oral law, which was the Halakha. And then there was the Haggadah, which was the written law. Now you could speak the oral law, which couldn't write it down. There was the written law, which you could write it down and you could not speak. And so they had perverted that through the translation of the Hebrew to the Aramaic. And this is what Christ came back. Most people can't, the simplicity of this is not as hard as people, they don't teach this, brothers and sisters, but this is what Christ was coming back and saying, as you remember in the, my book of Deuteronomy, because this will go into the lesson, you have perverted my law. Remember 613 statutes of commandments. In the book of Deuteronomy, it says he was complaining to these Pharisees that they had, in their halakha, in their oral law, they had perverted the idolatry. Remember, it was between a man and a woman, and they were, you know, the physical act of idolatry, and then the marriage and the and and the formalities of that between the contract of a bride. This relates to him. Take notes. And the bridegroom. He divorced his bride Israel. They were the heavens. Not someplace in the sky, right? They were the heavens, the ruling class, the earth. God, you love me. Your enemy come against you one way, and I'll make them flee seven ways. Okay, so they had perverted. They went in, wandered the desert 400 years. There was a translation from the Hebrew to the Aramaic. They created an oral and a written law. 
in the old book of the Deuteronomy. That's why he was saying, in my law, in my, you're forwarding, you're perverting. That was the Hebrew word to twist or to pervert. You're perverting my law. In my book of Deuteronomy, he was complaining because those women were selling their bodies to feed themselves. And in the book of Deuteronomy, they were supposed, the husband was supposed to give them half, half of what they own. And I'm guilty. I've said that before as a male. Oh, man, she wants half of one. Actually, when I separated from not my wife, but, you know, because I was married one time, but my son's mom, I gave her everything. But anyways, under that law of the book of Deuteronomy, if you read it, there was a contract. You had to go into a public place and a you had to give them a, it was called a bill of marriage. This was a contract between a bride and the bridegroom in the book of Deuteronomy. This was the law that they were under. Adultery, this is all covered in the book of Deuteronomy. Okay. Yeah, I understand that. We're not talking about that right now. Okay. Um, and you can study those after you get the 66 down. Okay. I'm not saying that. I never said you couldn't. Okay. Get the 66 down, lean off that. And it's like, oh, wow, that starts to make a lot more sense. So, in this book of Deuteronomy, Christ was saying, you know, he's ripping the Pharisees' heads off. He's like, you're forward in my word. In my word, it says you're supposed to give her half. When you had entered into this contract, you gave her a bill of marriage. You went to a town pl place, a public place, and you nailed that bill of marriage to a tree or to a stake. And you had to have two witnesses declare that contract. It had to be nailed top and bottom and have two thieves and nail your hands and your feet. I mean, never mind. You had to nail the piece of paper, the contract, the bill of marriage on the top and the bottom. And then you had to declare that there was that was a bill of marriage. And then the two witnesses would make it valid. It was a law. Now that you had a legal contract bound through the book of Deuteronomy. And that's what Christ was also complaining about is that they had not been given a bill of divorce. Not only were they out there selling their bodies on the streets to feed themselves and that, that they, that they had perverted the law through their halakha, their oral law, where he said, that's it. If you covet another man's wife, if you even think of another man's wife, that is idolatry. Remember? And he made it from an actual physical eye for an eye, physical, to spiritual as he blotted out the handwriting of ordinances in the book of Colossians 2 and 14 once was pounded out like that law on the tables of stone is now sprinkled with that blood that he paid as he hung top bottom nail two witnesses the bride price that he paid for his bride when he returns in blood under this testament that I'm telling you we're under now not the old eye for an eye but let vengeance be mine saith the Lord you know, turn your cheek, give me your cheek, seven times 70, that's 490 times you must endure to the end. I didn't say weak, I said meek, wise as a serpent, gentle as a dove. These are the commandments we are under, or the testament that we are under. Okay, I apologize, I'm a veteran, so I'm thinking, it's, 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 he had fulfilled the law, brothers, sisters, he didn't abolish the law, okay? So, but under this law that they had perverted, this oral halakha, they had perverted it, and these women were not given that bill of divorce. And so he was saying they can't be really, you know, you didn't give them half of what you own like you were supposed to. You know, you, you didn't go back to the town square where you originally went, okay? And uh, you didn't nail that stake, you know, contract to you because you have to give her a bill of divorce, as you entered into that contract with her, you gave her a bill of marriage, you have to go back and release her from that contract. You didn't release her, you didn't give her half of what you own, and now you perverted adultery. So if you covet another man's wife that is adultery, and he went what was made on stone, written on literal, you know, the physical act to a spiritual, if you even think of it, and now we are under this spiritual law, brothers, sisters, people do not understand what the price that Christ made because he paid the price in the flesh, in the flesh, nailed top and bottom. Do you understand? A price, price that he paid, the contract, two thieves, 
top and bottom. He paid in the flesh, brothers and sisters. He paid in the flesh so that we are now under this spiritual testament. Once it was written on tables of stone is now sprinkled with the blood of the lamb on the fleshy tables of our hearts. So this testament that we're under is not that eye for an eye testament. And most people still go by that. That's why I went off on this too, because militaries going outside our border and going after somebody else is an apostasy to God, raising up towers, cities, raising above pride. is not pleasing to God. It's not righteous. And what we've been doing, and I've served this system, I've served this filthy stolen country that was stolen, a lie to begin with. This country was founded on a lie. We stole it. We, we came to America and just Christopher Columbus covered America. That's a lie. So <laughs> it, it's, uh, it, it's, it's, it needs to expose now, and 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 I, I thank the Father for giving me this time and this thirty years to study these things, so I can hopefully convey to you that we are not under this Old Testament. The price that He paid, it was in flesh. They perverted His law, and if we need to study this, we need to go back and study it in the original text it was written. They've done translated. You cannot even literally change. Hebrew to Aramaic to English. That doesn't, that's not even possible. That's just anyways. But I don't know if you understand phonics or Babel or, you know, the original language or how dialect is, the, how this, the tongue, the glossa. The Torah was taken off the original Torahic field. Every word in Hebrew has a vibration sound to it, a value. Um, all right, I'm getting a little overboard here. I don't think I can. All right, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here but there's so much translation the book is full of idioms you know um we speak in a bunch of idioms in this day and age and say the stupidest things about some, you know oh that's cool okay here you want to get your jacket no man it's sick i know i'll get you some medicine it, everything has been perverted <laughs> and twisted you know what i'm saying so we speak in translation so they didn't so what they said back then didn't mean what it means today, you know, and it's not. So study the original Texas Receptus. Texas Receptus is the original canonized version of the text. Okay, canonized versions of the text. The Old Testament, the 53 books will be written in Hebrew. And if you study an interlinear, that means it's a dual language Bible. Here you go. How's I got one right here. My bad. I was, I was studying reading this order, but. This is called an interlinear Bible, okay? And this is this is the Hendrickson version, which I recommend and study out of. I wouldn't give you something that I don't study out of myself. It's been coded with the Strong's Concordance, which means each, uh, each one of these words in here has a number above each one of it. Here, I'll open it. This is written in the Greek. This is the New Testament. It has a number above it. Sorry, my camera flashes. My camera sucks. But see how there's a number above it? That's what that number is. And you can take that number out, and in a separate concordance, every time that word is written, and who said it is written in a separate book every time. So you don't have to go through and pull that out of each word. And But I don't recommend doing that because that's cheating. And I actually recommend you take that concordance and use it as a cheat code. And you go back and find out if the word is written three times and, you know, maybe it's in John and Peter and Luke that you that you go back and find out where it's at. Use that as a cheat code and find that where that's written. John said it here and read that one word where he said that sentence, but actually go back and read a chapter or two before it and a chapter or two after it. So you've read the original first. Actually, what you do is you take that word that you took from your concordance. That one, one word, and you take it to what is called a Greek lexicon or a Hebrew if you're studying the Old Testament, and a lexicon is a dictionary. And you get the original definition of the word first. Get the definition. Take it to the lexicon or dictionary, modern day what we call a dictionary. They called it a Greek, they can call it a Greek dictionary, called a Greek lexicon, but or a anyways, I don't I don't want to confuse this, but Hebrew. Or Greek, you want to define the definition of the original word one word at a time and then go read who said it 
go back two or three chapters before and then two or three chapters i guarantee if you just try to read this like a book and then you you won't get the meaning it won't you have to go back and study the original text you have to you find the aletheia he said i am the hados you have to narrow it back down to the definition that's why to be in the narrow way he said i am the way i am the hados the aletheia the truth is through the definition the truth is through the definition. If you leave definition, you leave the aletheia. You've left the truth. So, and the way to definition is through that light. It brings you to him, the way, the truth, and the light. I mean, I'm not trying to overdo it, but by narrowing off the translations and bringing it to the definition, it brings you to his word. And he is the aletheia, the Ruach Kokodesh, the living word, and it's in this book. It's not in religion. You don't dwell in houses made by hands. He dwells within the definition. He dwells within studying the translations in here. This book is full of idioms. Lot's wife was not turned to a pillar of salt. I won't even play the game with you. Go ask your priest, pastor, deacon, or reverend, chaplain, and ask if Lot's, Lot's wife was turned to a pillar of salt, and 98% of them are going to say yes. And she wasn't. There was no sodium involved in whatsoever. Zero. Zero sodium involved in Lot's wife being turned to a pillar of salt. Sorry, I had a frog in my throat. Did I really have a frog in my throat? <clears throat> Did you really hear it from the horse's mouth? Lot's wife was not turned to a pillar of salt. That was an idiom for meaning to succumb to your death. So that'll show you how ignorant all the priests, pastors, deacons, and reverends, and all of them in the world, they're, they all do the works of their father, be of the devil. Get behind me, Satan. I rebuke all these priests and pastors. They don't use and study this book this way they don't teach their people sitting down how to study this the way i just teach you how to study it study it one word at a time get a lexicon get a get a concordance and study it one word at a time i don't care what you know it doesn't matter you probably learn wrong like me i spent tons of years over a decade re-learning that's the same way they laugh at the unicorn they don't break it down and definition there you go <laughs> all right there, there's my son so thank you, brothers, sisters. That's what I want you to know, you know, like I said. And so that's helped me through the definition is finding these. Most of these truths come through the definition, defining the words and getting them through the definition. And then, like I showed you, go back and read two or three chapters before and two or three chapters. You got a whole different understanding because you might think it means something here, but then you read it here and you read, whoa, that's a completely, <laughs> that's a whole different, you know, It'll it, seek and you shall find. That's not like, oh, my God, I need a good wife. I'm tired of living out here alone, and I just really don't want to be here anymore. But that's not what he's asking. He said, you know, asking you shall receive. I know I need a good helpmate. I need somebody to help me take care of this farm. That's not what he's talking about. He's talking about the word, that aletheia, seek and you shall find. Ask and you shall receive. Knock, and I will come sup with you, right? Well, we had this hat for a long time there, O-X-Y-Z. It's a moccasin, leather moccasin hat. It's You can shape it, you know, it's all, you can stick it in your pocket. It's, so. Just takes the shape of its own, kind of does its thing. I stuck it in my pocket and wadded it up. This just does its own thing after the years of how I, I got a black one over there too. So, that's right. Hallelujah. <laughs> so every man needs a good hat. So it's not an expensive hat or anything like that. You know, some Stetson hat that you can't step on or have the animals, you know, it's been run over and, um, Yeah. Anyways, okay, guys. Um, so I hope you understand when Christ came back, he made a he made a contract, and I hope you understand where I'm going. Okay. He made a contract. He made a contract with his bride. You understand? He made a contract with his bride. And that bride would be called out in the wedding feast of the lambs. He divorced his bride 
for going after the traditions of man, idolatry, marrying truth to a lie. And that's why he had Nebuchadnezzar come against them. He, they w made them wander the desert for 400 years. Okay. And he had, had enough. And so he will make a new contract. As he said, he will come back and save all flesh. And they will call out all that. Not everybody, just a little bit. Of everybody. Oligas. Remember his flock in the book of Luke. He says, fear not Oligas. Right. Very few or very few find that narrow path. That is the word oligas. Okay. Um, very few find that path that leads to eternal life. So his flock is small. Most and many enter through the wide and broad gate, right? That is the gate that leads to the abyss. That is the gate that leads to hell. So he doesn't have a big flock, but he does come back and he takes from all flesh, this time, not just the house of Aaron and Levite. That's the most beautiful thing that, that, that I, that I'm so blessed to be able to spread this gospel to others that they, the, the truly the meaning of what he meant when he said he was going to come back and save all flesh, not this Christian version of I'm going to be raptured. And I believe and all that it's, it's those that walk and follow his commandments who shall ever come after me. Let them deny themselves. Self is idolatry. The trio to serve, it to see, idolatry, to serve or distribute fortunes to self. So that's why he divorced his bride Israel, and he tells us, Who shall ever come after me? Let them deny themselves, take up their cross daily. You can't set your cross down. You can't set it down. Once you've, he's rebuked your hearts and he calls you to who you will continue to serve him. And you will be condemned by the world and they'll hate you and, and see, but we're not under the other Jesus. We're not under that. I believe 316 Jesus meaning to believe is a thought in our head. Belief is a verb. Faith is a noun. So you can't believe in Jesus. That doesn't work. That's not how that. <laughs> uh, no, no, sorry. I'm going to have to dip a little bit of love. That's not going to happen. So what I'm okay, cool. Whatever there, I'm not sure what that meant there, Finn. But thanks for coming in. Good to see you again. Cool. All right, guys. Better not. What time is it? Yeah, I got to call that a night, guys. I got to call that a night. I can't stay up in here all night, guys. I'll do this. I've been doing this forever. I got to get up and work on that. Um, stuff around here at, on the property. I've, I've been putting so much time in for the father, but um, all glory to him. Um, I do appreciate you guys ears. If you'll give me your, your, uh, a thumbs up, if you don't mind, that doesn't cost a thing. <laughs> My name is Tracy. I live out here in the high desert. I live off the grid. I've been off the grid for almost six years, guys. Um, I'm trying to build a homestead out here, have been for some time. And um, I came out here to the desert to get away from people and society um, not that I don't live, I still, there's a little town I live. I just don't want to live in the big city and I farm and I have a farm and I, um, pretty much, uh, stir problems up out here for myself a lot and, um, raise, raise, you know what, <laughs> out here because I live in this Valley and I want to protect the people's rights out here. So I did a lot during the COVID and make a lot of stir, but I love living out here cause I can be a man of the land and soil. And um, I know my rights enough to stand on them and, and I won't let anybody walk on me. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't want anybody to walk on the people in this community. So um, this is a big part though, because I, I'm alone out here by myself. Uh, I get to come on here and, and my, you know, and share this information. Uh, yeah, I got to go, man. I got to get up, Elijah. I got to get up in the morning and get to work, man. I just, that you guys, it's so awesome. The, um, the, um, some guidelines on how to study God's word. Okay, cool. Yes. Thank you, Brett. Let me call a little couple of thanks for you guys that came in. Brett, I've seen you in here. Lady in red, thank you so much for coming in here. Um, I appreciate your, uh, um, you kind of helping out with the chat moderating in there. I seen, I'm not sure what happened to Finn. He bounced out of here earlier. Um, I think Michael, I see Michael in here earlier. Um, Lane, I think was in here. Yeah, there's Lane. Um, 
kid, thank you so much. I appreciate your guys' ear. Um, all glory to the Father here, guys. I just love the word and um, love sharing the message. I just the coming of the King, the good news that you know God is going to um, come back and and take from all flesh this time. Josh missed <laughs> missed the lesson, but um, if you'll do me a favor, if you guys really want to see a very interesting video. I put a video out on this platform that got me kicked off TikTok. The the channel's still up, but my live stream's been taken down, and I cannot sell. I, I'm a buyer and a trader, a seller of all things, on the internet. That's how I make my way because I stir up a lot of the stir the pot. So I can't get a job in my town that I work and whatever. But it don't matter. I'm an honest man. I work for what I have. I buy, I sell, I trade. For three months since I put this video out, guys, I've been electronically attacked. You can think whatever you want. Go look at the view count on the videos, and you'll see all the way up into those two videos that I put out, fighting and auditing with the police out here, which I do often is fight with the police because I just like to – they're thugs and pirates and road pirates because I used to be one, so I, I audit them. Go watch those two last videos that I put out on TikTok, or you don't have to, and see that I pulled that water video over here to this channel – Hopefully it doesn't get taken down over here and check out this water overlay video that I have on this channel. Okay. And then watch that 53 second video on the extinction event. Okay. I talk a lot of bit interesting things on this channel. I'm the only person I believe on the internet that's put out this overlay map and is doing this, this that I do come back. I already, this is on the channel. If you go back and scan through the lives, do long lives, but I am the only person that's putting out, I do decodes. I'm a decoder. I decode because I was a reconstructionist and algorithms and math and all that. I tend to pay attention to patterns and sequences and ciphers and cycles and all these things, you know, but uh, either way, I, I do believe that I have very 1% um, one-off sometimes information. You won't get anywhere else on the internet. And that's all glory to God. He's the one who's given me this message, this uh, chance in time and history to keep declaring this, you know, message a little bit ahead of time before some people see it. I'm not a prophet. I'm not predicting anything. I pay attention to cycles so I can understand sometimes that things come back around. Sometimes things take a little longer than others, but um, we're in a beautiful time now in this cycle. Um, and, uh, there's a lot of information you can glean from this channel, guys, that uh, he's had me, hopefully, will, others will be blessed with. Um, that's what I'm hoping, that others will take this information and do something valuable with it. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, so um, I appreciate your ear here tonight. I apologize. I can't stay on longer, guys. I got to get ready for the sun. I got to get ready for the sun. The sun is going to hammer this planet, guys. I've been talking about this four gas giant alignment. Follow me and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, there's, It's just two videos back on this channel, okay? It's just two videos back, okay? Yeah, I got to get to bed, guys. I, I've been doing it until 5 or 6 in the morning. I've been doing 12 hours at a time doing this. Um, uh, Yeah, yeah, that's what it should be common knowledge. And yeah, now people should have, since the COVID, should have went, no, wait a minute, wait a minute here. Something's not right. We need to look into what, let's go dig into what they, what are they, you know, what are they done already, you know, so to speak. Bless you for your, for your comments, guys, tonight here. Um, I won't try to change you. I, I might, I don't like, you know, people who, who might twist or change the definition of things. I might correct you on your definition. I hope you don't have thin skin in this chat, but, um, <laughs> Because I, I don't believe in that we don't have that time. But honestly, I am getting ready for weather, guys. Weather is what I believe is going to dominate this earth very soon. Um, I think they're getting ready for that. Um, I don't think it has a name, She-Wolf. It just has, um, it's just two videos back on this channel. It's just two videos back. I didn't do it way back. I just recently re-uploaded -up it to this channel. So if you'll go... I have the 53 second video that has shows this that we're in the sixth extinction event and which time it was marked at on the on the celestial wheel. And then that's the water map. You'll see it kind of has a I believe it you can see it's like a blue color. You know, um, tell me what you think. Leave a comment on there and see what I discovered. And I'll give you you guys want a preview? You want a preview of the video real quick? I'd really like for you to go over and watch the video on my channel and help me out a little bit. I mean, we're no go over there and here. I'll show you. I'll show you the map. I'll just show you what I'm talking about. 
There's this video, which is a 53 second video that's going to look like this. That's just 53 seconds. That's a pretty neat video. And I believe the other video is going to look like this. It's going to have this on it, something like this. That's that video that you're watching right there that you're going to watch. That's on the channel. Okay. It's on this channel. If you go watch it, I've discovered something that I don't think that anybody else has. And so what I'm looking for too, if you're from another country and you see what I've discovered here in America, it, are you, can you get that same information that I'm getting? Is your government taking over certain areas and can you get that information? I've discovered in Australia and I'm going to be mapping this and adding to the, um, adding to the, um, to the video. I'll try to add to it. Australia's already taken over that part of the country when Australia, where the water washes up in Australia. So this is a water overlay map where there's a cycle where the water comes up and down 400 feet. There are already cities sitting off our coastline right now, our continents, that you can take scuba diving trips and go visit. So this cycle's not coming up. This cycle's going down. Okay, but the water will come up before it goes down again. So um, that's what I'm showing here in America. They've discovered that, or I've discovered that the federal has, government has taken over all of it. Um, see, so she will, if you can see, I've already figured out because I know like I have more followers from Australia than any other continent outside the U.S. Hands down, I've already seen that. There's just, I don't know what it is. Maybe I live in the Oregon desert, high desert outback. I live in the outback. But um, um, thank you, lady in red. Um, but I've discovered because mental health recover me and a couple others have turned me on to that over there on the eastern side of Australia. Um, that that's already been taken over for 20 or 30 years. Your guys's governments have already taken that side of the that land over. So I'm going to start overlaying the, all these maps together if I can get people outside the country to try to find the information and I'll just keep putting them back together. It's going to get this channel taken down eventually. I'm sure it isn't, it is what it is. I'm going to keep doing it. We, we got to put this message out. It's going to happen sooner or later. I think it's going to happen with this magnetic four gas giant alignment that we're going to be going into. So, um, yeah, I'm hoping people will be able to do something about it, you know, and, 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 and not too many will be able to get, to this information, guys, I don't believe um, before this event happens. Um, and but that's that's God's doing, not mine. And I hope that I'm wrong. I hope that I'm not right. But I don't think that I'm wrong. I've been I was a reconstructionist. I it was a traffic crash reconstructionist as a police officer. You know, went through the Highway Patrol Academy, Oklahoma City. I've been through military Q Niner training, all the traffic reconstruction at scene traffic investigation. I've done all the, all, all the class I did it. I was a military police. I was certified in the military. Um, so I redo, that's why I'm a decoder. I re put together things and then reconstruct, right? Put them, the more you want to know about the future, the more you got to know about the past. So, um, it's just a cycle guys. It's just a cycle. It could be this time. It might not be. It might not be this time. It might be, we might miss it. It might be some other, because I haven't been got, I'm not a date picker. I haven't gotten a date on this. I have dates that I can show you where things have happened, you know, in history, but I'm not, I don't like to predict things. I don't like to make any predictions. I like to tell you, hey, this has happened in the past and this is what's going to happen again. That's not a prediction. That's not predicting anything. I'm telling you, if something's happened and it's cyclical and it's happened again, that's no different than if there's one valve stem on a tire and it takes a long time to come back around. Trying to convince the people the valve stem's coming around when it's been a long time is hard to convince them. Okay, guys, I use that theory. <laughs> you know, one valve stem on a tire. Hey, you guys, it's been a long time, but there's this thing that comes up that we got to jump. <laughs> Does that make sense? Uh, you can't get out of the way what you don't see coming, guys. Oh, I should do that, though, Carl. I really should, because you've been there since <laughs> since TikTok, and you know what happened to me at TikTok. So um, good stuff, guys. Excellent, excellent, excellent stream. Excellent stream. I really only want to come on here for an hour and go to bed, guys, but you kept me up. I was a little tired. I was just going to crash and um, go to bed a little early tonight, but to, I'll get up and I'll get my butt to work. I know how to discipline myself to get up and 
um, because I don't have income, guys. I make zero income now. And since that video, and I, I dropped my wallet the other day, guys, a couple weeks back, and now I'm not even getting my money back. With police reports and everything, they found the guy who caught my card the same day. He drained both my credit union card and my cash app card. Cash app is not giving my money back. I cannot believe it. Even with police reports, guys, this is so strange. My life is such a whacked out. Uh, <laughs> it's impossible. Things that are not supposed to happen always happen to me all the time. It's all the time, all the time, all the time. But it's okay. I'm all right with it. It is God's doing, you know, he said, let vengeance be mine. I'm not mad at the dude. He wouldn't fed his kids. They got food, you know, McDonald's or whatever. I was really worried about the kid that the kids that day that he would go to jail, you know, um, and those kids get put in, in child protective service or something. The cops kept telling me to stop worrying about the kids. You know, all my money's gotten stolen and I worried about the kids, you know, what's going to happen to these kids. But thank you, father. Thank you, father. So, um, all, all things after he does all things i create all things i am the alpha the aletheia the truth right i i create everything that ever was everything that ever was written i create good i create everything not written everything that ever will be i am the omega and i create evil i do all these things after my own counsel and for my own pleasure so he does all things i need not worry it was him doing it not me <laughs> so um sucks when people take all the only money you got so but that's okay i made it through this month and uh the land payments got paid hallelujah i had somebody i didn't have to sell my generator didn't have to sell the little bit of silver that i have that i wanted to try to trade for gravel someday that i get to teach with so thank you guys um if you can hit that doesn't cost anything to hit that thumbs up button it really helps out the algorithm it really does guys a lot um, I'll be back talking about interesting things that I don't believe anybody else is talking about. Some are, and I'll bring you, yeah, I'm in the, I'm in a cabin that I built out of myself. There's all a repurposed cabin that I've built all out of old, old material, everything. There's not one new board in this whole cabin. So you can see all this. I'll be back tomorrow online, building the rusty dragon out one of the cabins and then working on the shelter, trying to get away from, uh, trying to get away from this sun that's going to that's going to hit pretty hard this time so but we can make it 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 a lot of us will do this because yes we're already off grid for years and we've already hardened ourselves and we're getting ready for it and and where many will just survive some of us are going just hard guys the sun's going to get us to thrive not like that i mean just that's we reap what you sow you reap what you sow um uh Yep, there you go. It's all going to come back. That's right. You'll report you. So that's what I see. You see some of the thing. This isn't going to be what people think, guys. This is just a, we're going to make it, guys. A lot of us, we went through five extinction events already. Five extinction events already. <laughs> and we're all here still. Bugs, potatoes, crickets, lice, chickens, rabbits, cucumbers, tomatoes, avocados, it's all here, brothers, sisters. Everything that made it through the last five extinction events are still here. Extinctions don't mean that people, you know, and animals die off completely. They die down and others will evolve and flourish. And so some of us are going to make it, man. A lot of us won't, guys. A lot of us won't. But that doesn't matter because some of us are going to die trying. We're not just going to lay down and not try at least. You know, we're going to go out. That's called a die hard, okay? You're going to have to kick my teeth out of my head. I'm a veteran. Pain is just weakness leaving my body is what I was told from 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 a, as a teenager. So I can work through that, you know. <laughs> I'm a soldier of God now, though. I'm doing his work. I'm fighting for for his battle. And his battle is, is not of the flesh, right? Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. May the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye be able to stand against the wiles of these lying demonians, these devils. For we wrestle not against flesh. Your biggest enemy is you, me, your own enemy is self. Your biggest enemy is you. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, the rulers of darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, I say to you, put on the whole armor of God. Twice, brothers and sisters, cast off the works of darkness. Put on that whole armor of God. Please don't wrestle against the flesh. This is a very important time in history. 
many of us are going to make this, okay? Our battles are in higher places, okay? Choose your battles wisely, okay? Choose your battles wisely, brothers and sisters, okay? He, he gave us commandments. Remember, 2 John and 6 is to walk in, follow in the commandments of God. That is the word agape. Remember, he told Peter, I'm not asking you if you phileo me, Peter. Do, phileo means do you have, like to have an affection of the world, the things of this world, guys. Be not of it, right? Be in it, but need, be not of it. Wrestle not against flesh and blood. I'm not asking you if you phileo me, Peter. Do you agape me? Do you love me, Peter? Are you walking and following in my commandments? I hope he's commanding something inside your head to tell you to do something right now. That is that Ruach Hokadesh. That's the Holy Spirit that's inside of us that's been there since Christ in you. Remember, the Apostle Paul said we had an outer man and an inner man. He's blameless. He cannot sin. If you listen to him, he will tell you to do the right thing. But you do need to listen and agape him. Walk and follow in his commandments. That voice inside your head, it'll tell you it's like a beautiful one size fits all. It'll tell you you're not doing this and it's going to make you feel guilty for not doing it do it, <laughs> you know, or if something you need to do or not, it will give you the instruction. It's been there since. Don't take little Jenny's bike. Don't do it. Come on, guys. Christ in you, brothers, sisters. Okay. Listen to that voice right now. It's very important that we understand this time and that we are in this time and place. This is a very amazing time. We've been a witness to the passing of an age. We were a witness to the passing of an age. You, If you were born a lifetime before or a lifetime after, this only happens about every 2,000 years. The last time this happened, hallelujah, was at the time of Christ. Woo! I'm on fire. I love it. <laughs> so thanks for coming in, guys. Um, I love the word. I just love the word. It's all I got, guys, because I'm out here alone. So, But um, find, find a good group of community, guys, of people right now. And there's a darn good group of people right here. You know, you might not get to see these people here in this flesh, but if they are your brothers and your sister and your mother, you will be with them on the other end. Correct? That would be your family. Correct? Hallelujah, brothers and sisters. Thank you for giving me this chance tonight to uh, spend a little extra time with you. Um, angelos, that's the word messenger. Angelos, the Greek word for messenger. They have a Revelation 9-11. They have a messenger. A king over them, the Angelos of the bottomless pit. Uh, you were talking to Angel. <laughs> uh, cool. You got a family here, Brett. You have family here, brothers and sisters. This is your family. This channel, I'll be trying to be careful about. Hopefully, this this I'm gonna ask. Hopefully, God will protect this channel and not let it get taken down. Maybe He didn't want the people on TikTok to see it. Obviously. There's a lot of this going on TikTok, guys. There's a lot of nonsense going on on TikTok, man. Let me tell you. Thanks, particularly these, you know. So <laughs> I would, I promised my TikTok followers I would never do that to them. So um, this is a much better platform. I do, I can speak much more freely over here. And I feel like um, I really had to censor hardcore over there, guys. I had to censor myself. It was tough because I get a room of, and it was a big channel. It had 12, 20,000 plus people on that platform, but we're growing here. We almost got seven. We're going to be at eight before you know it. This channel is growing. It's all glory to God. But um, I get 1,200 people in a chat on a late night, guys, and have to keep my keep my track. You see, if you follow me tonight, I get all over the place, but I'll come back and come back to where I was talking, answer questions, and normally I don't lose my 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 place. Um, I'm a reconstructionist. I'm a decoder. This this is God's uh, vessel, not mine. He He's taken over this. He's commanding this ship, brothers and sisters. <laughs> he's commanding this ship. So go see Brother Jim at Grace and Truth. This is a mirror channel of that of that ministry. And uh, if you like this, you'll like Brother Jim. He's hardcore. He give you the meat, not this watered down other Jesus, other gospel that we are warned. The Apostle Paul warned us. They will come preaching another gospel that I did not preach and speaking another Jesus. So you were warned you were warned you know um but it ain't about religion this is not a religious channel i do not consider myself a religious person i don't follow after um these this vanity and, and these houses made by hands they don't he's just not in them he said where there are two or three or 35 in this case gathered in my name there i will be in their midst <laughs> okay guys hey there's a if you do 
and have the ability, maybe been blessed. Somebody dropped me a $50 Bitcoin two, three live streams ago. I've never had Bitcoin, didn't want it, but that's okay. I'm going to try to, I'm just, I'm going to hold on to it because I never had it. So for now, um, there is a link in the description. Obviously, there's been a super chat. I think the super chat's turned on now, um, but not not necessarily. But if you have the ability, there is a link. I don't want to grift you. Um, I'd rather eventually try to find some people to come out to this property and homestead where I'm at. I've been trying to give this property away. I'm building cabins that should have been people come moved out here to live in these cabins, but that's okay. God will provide the people in, when he's ready in the time and place. We're just getting pretty darn edge to this um time of where the weather's going to be i'd like some hands out here to help me out here before i'm not working in the weather um i just have so many things but if you want to watch me build out i will be back on tomorrow um and doing some of the stuff outside i can't probably sit down and do this but i can drag the camera around with me a little bit i'll show you the shelter tomorrow that i'm building the plasma shelter the storm shelter and i will show you the uh the rusty cabin that's being built out um the Rusty Dragon. It's another cabin that I'm building out here. It's turning out uh, pretty lovely. A bunch of repurposed, bunch of all repurposed. No new stuff. Just like this cabin. No new, no, nothing new. Don't want to build anything with any new boards. I want everything to be repurposed. I cut ends and 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 stuff that's been weathered off. You know, not weathered, but um, stuff that's you know too far gone. I cut it off and take the good portions of it. And I really like the weathered look. And all my boards are from. Uh, different places so my walls talk to me so notice every board is a, a little bit different shade of color or comes it's a little differentness or comes from a different place so that's how I like to live I like to live in an old my town my property looks a little bit like a movie set from like a bonanza or something like that so I don't like the modern world guys I just don't like this modern techie tech I mean I'm a high-tech redneck obviously my system's junk but it works it's kept me powered out here for like five or six years i've had this system up and running and I, i'm my own boss i'm my own power you know um cool all right guys much much love i appreciate it i will see you guys tomorrow back on here and um i'll be working i gotta get to work i've got to get this plasma shelter done i've got i hope you guys have a place to get away from the weather i'm going to want to tell you i i would recommend getting away from elon musk and his uh, Star Shield and Donald Trump and his Operation Warp Speed and his Do Machines, because I think it's Musk and 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 Trump, Mr. Warp Speed, doing everybody. I think they were doing these uh, eclipses too with their techie tech. And so I would try to protect myself from these uh, people. They obviously don't care. They look like they just had a, a barbecue in Texas, did they not? Yes, they did. I don't know. There's not a barbecue Mountain Dew flavor, is there? Anyone? I don't drink soda. I haven't drank soda in a long time. Um, but, you know, they found out about the Maui Blast, you know. Um, they had a chili bowl, correct? You know, this is happening, guys. I, I think I'm, I maybe hope that 10 feet of dirt might protect you from one of those, you know, star shield that link X satellite system that they can ground to air, surface to air, land to air, direct to do me baby, do me baby. You got any protection? You got to do protect anything to protect you from the Mountain Dew? Remember Joe said, if you have the right color roof, no, I think you do not need to worry about some stupid color roof. I think you need to put some dirt like six feet uh, or not like six feet under, but maybe six, eight feet of dirt might protect you from. So that's what I'm getting ready for. Cause I figure everything that's on the surface is just a temporary waste of my time. I figure these cabins I build will probably be about 200 miles from here in a windstorm. Straight line winds. When the sky rolls back like a scroll, 40% the the magnetic sphere is already rolled back, guys. The sky is already rolled back like a scroll. 40%. Wait, that's in scripture, isn't it? So I believe that we are going to, I know.
No, we don't need some guy who decorates his house with Satan and then calls himself a Christian. Obviously, you've fallen under that spell, but that's all right. I don't have time to go into that. Um, uh, we are in the rider in the white. We have seen the rider on the white horse of the apocalypse. The next one will be the red one. So, <laughs> you know, we're there. We're in Revelation. If you follow my channel, if you go look back on my last 53 second video, I show you we're already in Aquarius. That's the age of the lifting of the veil, the deception that's been put over in the age of Pisces since the time of Christ. I teach this. So um, there we go. One quarter. There we go. Yep. 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 You guys got it. No, no zombie apocalypse. There's no such thing. Apocalypse means the lifting of the veil, the removal of the cover. You're thinking of Armageddon. You've been watching too much. Uh, community. Yourself. Save yourself and save your country by, by stop funding war and go out and buy some silver before they bring DARPA dogs with this silver in them to your door. Or maybe Mr. Musk will... Uh, will bring his Techie Tech X robots to your door using this as well. So go buy some of it before they drop. They will throw their gold and silver in the streets, 500 of those at a time on your head if you're not careful. Okay. All right, get. No, he didn't keep us out of war. You're an idiot. He dropped more audience. You you sound like a, you, you listen to that fake news there, Solo. Please don't ever come back to my channel. You've been... Uh, cast spells. You've probably been took the greatest Jabadooski ever too. So sorry, I can't. I can't stand it, guys. I won't spoil anybody anymore. It's too. It's too much. Uh, too. Too disgustingly filthy. All this ordinances. All that somebody has to do is go look and and find the ordinances that was dropped. These people do not even understand that we have what is called private contractors now. Private. Con contractor so we don't have to say that we're involved in a war there are vets just like me that they pay more to do the same job so I don't want to hear it look at how many drone ordinances were under that administration so aggressive oh so aggressive I'm a veteran pound sand kick rocks get out of here you don't like it get some skin this nation is being taken over we're sending all our money to these immigrants and other nations and there's dead citizens dying on the streets. Aggressive? Yeah, I'm aggressive. Hell yeah, I am. American citizens dying and 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 you're okay with sending money to Ukraine and funding some guy who decorates his house with Satan and you're worried about me being aggressive. <laughs> Lick the boot of the cop when he pulls you over too and be an android and be the silent majority just like every American was for the last three and a half years who didn't say anything about the creep pedo Biden. Instead, be lulled to Sleepy Joe, right? No, he wasn't sleepy. He was creepy. And every one of these drumsters sat there and got lulled to Sleepy Joe. And if they just would have not been... Uh, lulled to sleep and they would have looked at that last state of the union they would have realized wait a minute oh, there's nothing wrong with this guy huh he's not sleepy he's a pedo and joe has been run cover by mr drump called sleepy they're on the same team so i don't even deal with the people i don't care doesn't matter i'm not trying to change anybody trump supporters got to be the most ignorant people in the world that i've ever met in my entire life I'm seriously, he said he was going to put Hillary Clinton in jail. He was going to put her in prison. She sat three bodies away from him at his inaugural dinner. So you still got to go back, and I'm still pissed at, like, 9-11. So I remember everything. I remember everything. I remember everything. So I still blame Mr. I got the tallest building in the world now, Mr. Operation Warp Speed, for dropping three steel buildings with two airplanes. Yes, he did it. Yes, he did it. He was there. Yes, he did it. Yes, he did. He has the techie tech tech to do it. Remember? Mm-hmm. Do me, baby. Free fall speed, 45. She sat three bodies away from him at his inaugural dinner. How much money did he make on Hillary for prison? 
How much money did he make on Hillary for prison? Millions and millions and hundreds of millions. Of, and then she sat three bodies away from him. He's a fraud. He said, I was going to build the greatest wall ever. And instead, you got the greatest jab ever. So just look, we just must have got a bunch of thumpsters in here. He said, Sleepy Joe. And never once called him Creepy Joe. Did he ever call him Creepy Joe one time? Yeah, well, look how many psychiatrists in here we have and how many drug recognition experts come into this. Oh, I used to be a prior police officer and a drug recognition expert. You guys have probably no certification on other than what you think and that you're a psychologist. Watch how many psychologists we have in here. It's pretty funny. Um, but how about this? He decorates his house with Satan. Watch, watch them thump, 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 thump. Watch how much they thump, 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 thump like rabbits, like, like, uh, like a silly rabbit tricks over a kid. He decorates his house with Satan. He decorates his house with Satan and calls himself a Christian. Still voting for him? Trump 2024? Trump 2024. He decorates his house with Satan and calls himself a Christian. Thump, 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 right? Right? Thump, come on. Thump, drink the, come on. Slam that hopium. Tell me. There he is, thumping. Oh, no, that's that's F Trump. Never mind, that's not. That's FDT, not FJB. All of them. Thump, 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 thump. Come on, thump, you thumpers. Where are you at? Still, see, thump, 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 thump. It doesn't matter. He's going to be reelected. He's going to be reelected. You'll get your 47. You'll get him back. Don't you worry. You thump, thump, slam your hopium and drink your Kool-Aid. Okay, cool, guys. See, that's what I'm saying. They, You can put it right in front of them, and they don't care. You can say, well, he decorates his house with Satan, and uh, they won't look into anything. No, where did you see that? Show me proof. So, but anyways, I was just showing you, uh, showing you the ignorance um, of how people will vote for a man uh, like Joe Biden, supposedly, right? 81 million people voted for Joe Biden. Are you that bad at math? Are you that bad at math that you think 81 million people voted for a guy that never came out of his basement? And the other guy who praised the Clintons, who praised the Clintons and had Hillary Clinton sit at his at his inaugural dinner when he was going to lock lock her up, right? He Remember, he has his house decorated with Satan and, and the sun god, but nobody cares. Nobody, he'll get reelected. How many times did he say, creepy joe biden how many times did you hear donald trump say creepy pedo joe this guy in his hands and his nose and he's all on the kit you don't know what him and i do the hokey pokey and they turn ourselves around we're island boys yes right because joe biden is donald trump joe biden is on the same team remember he, he still pushed the jab so sniff, 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 right? Well, I'm just saying, I don't care about either. I think they're both, I told you, they're both on the same team. I don't care what anybody thinks. Thump, thump, thump. Thump, thump, thump. So doesn't care. Just doesn't care. Yeah, he never audited the Fed. He said he was going to have a special investigation. He said it was going to build the greatest wall ever. And you thumpsters blame Biden for the wall nonsense. When it, If Trump would have built that wall, we wouldn't even be having this issue right now, would we? Thump, 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 you know, chump, 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 pedo, pedo, pedo. He's an island boy, too, just like Biden. He's an island boy. wonder how much money, how many billions of dollars you have to have to have your name stricken out of that black book. So, cool, you know, th there's something wrong with Donald Trump or Joe Biden. No, is how many times did Joe Biden get called out as being creepy by Donald Trump? He didn't. 
He didn't call him creepy Joe Biden. He called him sleepy Joe Biden. Huh? It just changed. They were mesmerized that quick. See, there we go. Look, do you obviously buddy didn't watch his inaugural speech on that state of the union. You're the problem with this country. You didn't go watch. You, you didn't go watch that. You didn't go watch Joe Biden's speech where he boom, knocks it out of the park here. Watch Joe Biden. History's watching the pedo, the creep, the, the guy that's never had a filled out a W2 in his life, the lifelong politician. That's a creep and a pedo. He's just the filthy, filthy, disgusting man. Just as bad as Trump, at least Biden doesn't decorate his house with Satan, but oh, he calls himself a Catholic. Remember, he bat, he had his hands on the, calls himself a Catholic. That's the same thing. The Pope, God, it's the same stuff. He, see? Oh, no, the ignorance is bliss, isn't it? You knew I was a snake before you let me in. Right? So you were going to get the greatest wall ever, but you got the booster, didn't you? That's what's wrong with these stuff. I figured that must be what's wrong with the thumpsters is they all went and got the Jabadooski, you know, bow to the altar of Jabba. I'm going to bring the, I'm going to sign, I, I, I signed an executive order to bring the National Guard to your door and deliver that greatest Jabadooski. Yeah, you hope it's Trump. You hope it's some guy who decorates his house with Satan instead of some guy who can't keep his house off, hands off kids. Good for you. Nice. Oh, I voted for the lesser of two evil. I hate to break it to you. You are the evil. You're condoning evil. You are the problem. Yeah, I'm talking to whoever votes in this next selection. And it's going to be Donald Trump. I don't care. Here, here, watch. Hey, thumpsters, do you have any faith at all? Here, watch, 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 watch. 81 million people voted for Joe Biden and you got thump. You got thump. You got thump. I promise you, if you don't vote at all for Trump, watch, don't vote for Trump at all. None of you guys go vote for Trump and you'll still get Trump this time. Do you trust me or no? Do you believe me? No, belief is not a thought in your head. It's a verb. Don't trust me. But do you think that I bet you if none of you thumpsters went and even voted for Trump, you would still get Trump back. You're going to get Trump. So don't worry about it. You can thump all you want. He will be elected as the 47th president of the United States. I don't know. I know already what they're doing. So you'll get your 47, you know, your 45 back. But I look, I'm seriously, go, don't go vote for him. And I promise you, you he will get elected president guarantee you it's already written that way they already you know it's a selection not an election that's why 81 million people did not vote did not vote for joe biden anybody who thinks that 81 million people voted for joe biden must be on that common core math two plus two equals five right <laughs> yes yes dumpsters man you guys You'll get your thumpster back and he's going to put you, you just wait. You mark my words, 233, 10, 16, 6, 103, 14. You mark my words. He's going to lock this country down again. He's going to use that executive order. And this time he's going to use Mr. Musk X disease that they've been already programming the whole public for that's in their white papers and all that, that you're going to get your X disease this time. Mr. Thump is going to deliver, yep, and you're going to get millimeter walls and millimeter bowls. So the heading of this was walls you can't see with your eyes, eyes, right, walls, right, walls you can't see with your eyes, millimeter walls and millimeter bowls. You don't have any idea what that means because you don't study your history. You've never studied. That's just 1800 talk that I'm talking about. Talk from the 1800s. Millimeter, millimeter waves. That's what his uncle was messing with. The same stuff as Trump. So this isn't political. John Trump, millimeter waves. 
So don't believe it, but that doesn't matter what you believe because belief is not a thought in your head. That's a verb. So <laughs> you have to research the facts, guys. And I think Thump is going to use the millimeter waves this time against us. I don't think he was ever talking about building a wall that you could see. Yeah, talk about your drug usage. You guys are just lame. You guys all say the same lame things. You guys are androids. All you people, drugs, homosexuality, or what is the other thing? LOL or some stupid thing. You guys are all programmed, just so you know. All you zeros and ones, you're androids to me. Remember what Kali Bud said? I'm blind to you. So, anyways. All right. So, but anyway, I, you guys, I have such a thing for Thump. You know that, uh, Mr. Chump. Mr. Donald Chump, Mr. Abba Donald McNugget, McTrumpet, McChump, who decorates himself with his house with Satan, Napoleon. But these people are so ignorant that this 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 um, this country is so ignorant that they didn't say anything about Joe Biden sniffing little children and other people's hair. And we know if he does that crap in public, what the hell is he doing behind closed doors? I don't know. Ask Thump. They do it together. They're island boys. Yes, they're island. They're EpiPen island boys. Oh yeah, they're EpiPen island boys. Both of them do the hokey pokey and turn themselves around. That's what it's all about. Never forget, they both worship the trans tri god Baal Ball Apollyon. So you want to go after some man who decorates his house with Satan? and calls himself a Christian, cool, not for me. I don't want to do that. And I think it's hilarious that I live in a country that has grown that ignorant. Just like you re-voted in Obama, right? You re-voted in Obama when that guy was this issue and that issue and issue and it was Michael and blah, 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 and blah, blah, but he got reelected. And Trump will get reelected too. Same thing. Same thing. Remember, his wife has three head heights, eight head heights, shoulders wider than hips. Yeah, and an apple and a banana, just like Mr. Barry, Mr. Sotero, right? Mr. Obama. You call him Michael, but it's Reggie. Remember the floppy? You know, the, the Ellen? Yeah, it's Reggie. So that's the same thing with Ivan. Ivan. Ivan, Mr. Trump's Ivan, or is it male? Is it male? Is he married to male Lena? Is it male Lena or is it Ivan? You know, it doesn't matter. Ivanka has three, three head heights. Three. What? Really? Eight head heights. Count them. Get out your tape measure, get out your thing. Notice shoulders wider than hips. Oh, we got a problem here. Ivan is not what we thought, is he? I mean, she, uh, the first lady. What? Yep, you've been fooled. This is, no, this is how you identify a man and a woman. God proportion is completely different. If you have a, a wife, ask her to look at you. Have her stand in front of you. I'm a certified credible witness as a prior police officer. And I can testify in a court of law that if somebody's a man or a woman. I served in law enforcement in the 90s when a man could not search a female officer a tyrant i was one of those tyrants and a military tyrant as well so i could testify in a court of law and i had to call for backup when the law used to be like that remember remember this country a cop just couldn't go hands-on with a woman and search her this country had some morals and some values about it before it turned into this filthy donald trump loves law enforcement so if you portion a man, because I can tell if you're running away from me, 
I don't care if you're wearing a, a, a wig or what you're wearing. You can be wearing a brooch or what I can tell by your portions, whether you were born a man, God created one race, one race, the human race, man and woman. And we can be identified whether people understand how to do that or not. A law enforcement officer in the nineties would have known how to do that. We were certified and trained how to identify. I told you we couldn't search a female. Didn't matter if you put lipstick on a pig, it's still a pig, right? I'm not going to give it a kiss. I don't care if you spray some perfume on it, still a pig. Can't dress it up, it's still a pig. So a man has three head heights. Notice born a man, see that? A whole extra, well, look at that, from the edge of my shoulder, what do you know? Ask your wife to stand in front of you. She's only got two and a half. She doesn't have a full head height. She's missing a whole half a head. What do you know? See, now you're running away from me and I can already tell from a man has eight head heights, eight head heights from the top of his head to the bottom of his feet. A woman has seven. Ask your wife. I don't care if she's dwarf or giant or that still doesn't change. The proportions stay the same or portion completely different. So now you're running away from me and I see that your eight head heights and a man has wider shoulders because a woman wears children. She, her hips are wider than her shoulders. A woman's hips are wider than her shoulders. So now I can completely identify without even seeing your face. If you got a beard or seeing your hands, <laughs> This is one of the things that you can identify, and there's a little bit of variance on this. Generally, you're not going to find the variance in the other. See how my ring finger exceeds my pointer finger? See how my ring finger? That's I have a very heavy testosterone. I'm a very obviously a, a man with the. Uh, I'm a man. <laughs> I was born a man. You can tell by my fingers. This ring finger here exceeds my pointer finger by nearly a whole. That is another thing that a man predominantly will have with high testosterone. Now, some gentlemen, a lady is going to have more of a hands that are shaped much closer together. Not, though that doesn't mean that you weren't born a man because some I've seen men that have hands like this or like a woman, but start looking at the other portions. Wider hips, wider, and you can tell if there's somebody's a man or a woman or not. I don't care what they what they say. That person can identify, right? Three head heights. This can identify three head heights, right? You know what I'm talking about? Three head heights. Three head heights is a man, right? Or eight head heights, three across, right? That's a man. So if the, if you put a purse on, and you put a brooch, and you put a lipstick, and you do all these, you know, whatever. I don't care if you start cutting things and rearranging and moving things around and relocating pieces and parts and putting buttons and pockets and moving them around. They're going to unbury you. You can identify as this, but they're going to dig you up a thousand years from, from, from now and say, that's a dude. Because of your skeletal structure and your portions. We're portioned differently, brothers and sisters. I'm not fooled. So that's how far we have come as a country that Ivan, 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 the first Ivanka, the first lady has an apple and a banana too. That means somebody's a little fruity in the first office. Do you identify as Batman? Oh, somebody was identified as a kid earlier or seen in there. So I wasn't reading the comics and it was had litter box or something. They needed a litter box, but yeah, I don't care what you identify. When they dig you up, they're going to know exactly what you were. It doesn't matter what you identify or portion different brothers, sisters. That's how far we are into this game right now. Just so you know. So Mr. 45 with the, with the one with the apple and the banana will return. Ivan. Cuh. Ivan the Terrible. That's disgustingly filthy. So think about what I just told you. Everybody's talking about this guy being a creep. 
this guy, obviously he's into the, uh, he likes playing the sausage game or something. He's into that pork fist, uh, pegging, you know, the, the swine skin. That's how far our country's gone, guys. Seriously, it's been going on. Go look at all these first ladies. I encourage you to just get a portion out. I don't care what they look like. I don't care what they told you. Portion them out. And do the portions and see what you find. And they can identify as whatever they want to. That's I'm not trying to change a goat into a sheep. Nope. So, all right, guys. Got me on. Who started me on that Trump rant? Somebody shouldn't have said Trump, and that got me all fired up with these thumpsters. But see why I'm fired up? And there's 88 and 14. Holy crap. Holy crap. 14, 88, HH, Heil, the 14 number creed. That's insane, guys. That's amazing. If you know Genotria, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. That is his number, 828. Oh, 97. Look at that. Oops. And then 14. There's 14 words in the creed of the 88. Mr. HH. There, he's revealing. That was awesome. All right. What a good way to end it. Love you guys. I'll be back at this today. Not tomorrow since it is today. Um, <laughs> spent too much time in here, but it is what it is. All glory to the Father. Thank you, Father, for uh, giving this mental clarity here. And... Um, spending this extra time you guys are worth it thank you for coming back to this channel guys i love you guys i do appreciate it um thank you son appreciate it thank you angel i see you in here thank you for all your comments red lady in red bless you sister thank you so much brett thank you for coming in thank you for letting me toy with the thumpsters i just hey whatever i mean that's guys in the end of days whoa who call good evil and evil good right <laughs> we're there <laughs> we're there so bless you stay in this word keep pulling these one word out at a time guys um thank you for your time this evening there's a there's a link in the description if anybody wants to support my uh my my rambling here um cash app and a paypal love you guys i'll see you on the next on the next live stream okay uh Weird, yeah, I get excited about that because that's who he's revealing, the coming of the Antichrist that's locked up in the pit. Cool that you knew who that was. Ah, somebody even knows where to, who it is. Yeah, oh, I'm getting excited because I know that's exactly who Mr. 828, Donald John Trump, and the Gematric calendar equals 828. He says, dial 0088. He had 88 campaign offices. Get out of here. Love you guys. I'll see you on the next live stream. Um. I'll be doing the outside work, though, tomorrow. Always agape. Or today. <laughs> Always agape, guys. Stay in his word. Walk and fall. Yeah, the golden sneakers, the golden calf. Don't get me started, Alvin. Don't do it. All right. Love you. Always agape.